Our achievements of today are the sum total of our thoughts of yesterday. You are today where the thoughts of yesterday have brought you, and you will be tomorrow where the thoughts of today take you. A warm welcome to all the staff and students of various schools from various places within and out of Tamil Nadu for Science Ada One Day Interaction Program under the aegis of Azadi Ka Amrita Mahotsav, funded by the Star College Scheme. DBT government of india which is jointly organized by the departments of chemistry botany zoology mathematics geography and computer science now i invite ms polly of first ma english literature sf to invoke god's blessing through a prayer song if you're walking through the valley and there are shadows so all around do not feel evil guide you he will keep you safe and sound he has promised to never leave you not to take you and this word is true god is good all the time it for the song of faith it is out of my soul is good all the time to the dark in its night this light will shine god is good god is good all the time though i may not understand all the plans you have for me my life is in your hands, and through the eyes of faith, thank you, feel this pity. God is good all the time. It for the sound of faith in the sound of mine, God is good all the time. Through the dark days, night and light will shine. God is good. God is good. God is good all the time, all the time. Thank you, Ms. Polly. May I now invite Dr. Pauline Vasanthi Joseph, Associate, Head and DBT Star College Scheme Coordinator to welcome the gathering. Good morning, everyone and a warm welcome to the One Day Interaction Program on Science ADA, organized by the DBT-supported departments of Nirmala College for Women, Coimbatore. We have the departments of Botany, Chemistry, Zoology, Mathematics, Geography, and Computer Sciences. The entire program is funded by the Star College Scheme, Department of Biotechnology, Ministry of Science and Technology, Government of India. The mind of a genius is always curious, and Science Ada is to rediscover curiosity. Science Ada has an experiential science learning model and methodology that is curated and thematic. These experiences allow children to relate what they learn at school to real life applications. Youngsters lack understanding on concepts which should have been taught in schools. The lacunae in their thoughts were so striking that Kumar Nagaraj, the founder member of Science Ada, and two of his engineering graduates, Ravindra Krishnapa and Naganan Doreswami, decided to come up with Science Ada, a mobile science laboratory. While teaching little concepts of science, they wanted to develop curiosity among kids. The idea was not to replace course books but to complement them, to allow students to engage, to explore, and to explain. Science Ada's vision is to kindle children's curiosity for science by facilitating exploratory learning. The guiding principle is hands-on is equal to minds-on. So the program tries to engage with children in a variety of stimulating ways. The Department of Biotechnology Government of India has come up with the innovative thought of engaging higher education institutions to foster such facilities to schools in their vicinity. Today, we have a group of 200 students in our campus 
as a part of the offline program who will be witnessing the laboratories of the six departments of our college mentioned and the demonstration of innovative experiments in these labs. A guided tour through the campus is planned for the offline children. We keep our portals open for all the other schools participating online that you could always contact us in the future and bring your students to the campus and visualize your interest in basic sciences. The program today offers wonderful talks on recent technologies in basic sciences, participatory events like quizzes, connections, and puzzles, and a virtual tour of all the science laboratories of our college. We request the children to take part dynamically and teachers to keep your wards motivated and sustained. A very warm welcome, dear children, from schools in and around Coimbatore. We have 97 schools registered and 2,453 children have registered for this program. We also welcome the teachers and the administrators of the school. A very cordial welcome uh, to the principal of our college, Dr. Sister Helen, the vice principal, Dr. Sister Fabiola, the members of the academic body of our college, the faculty and research scholars from our college. We welcome each one of you, especially dear children, and we hope that you have an enjoyable experience today with us. And this is to each one of you. A warm welcome to each one of you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Now I invite our principal, Reverend Dr. Sister Helen, for felicitation. <clears throat> Jesus declared, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hidden these things from the wise and understanding and revealed them to little children. Matthew 11, 25. A pleasant morning to all those who are present, both offline and online. Warm greetings from the management and faculty of Nirmala College. It is my pleasure to call a warm welcome to all for science to the interaction program for the school students funded by the Star College Scheme DBT Government of India, organized by the departments of Chemistry, Botany, Zoology, Mathematics, Geography, and Computer Science of a college. The role of science and technology is indispensable in today's world. Science and technology have undoubtedly made our life easier and faster. Almost everything we see around us is the gift of science and technology, whether it is smartphone, fan, electricity, microwave, radio, television, laptops, wheel, vehicles, cloth, paper, toothbrushes, etc., etc. We need science and technology in every area of our life. We must always hope to make an effort and ensure that inventions and discoveries in these areas are always used in the interest of the entire human race and to make the world a better place for all of us. Scientific knowledge teaches us to express our civic aspirations, our desire to connect with others and contribute to the world around us. Information technology, including the internet, is an excellent gift of technology. With the help of the internet, not only do we get tremendous knowledge in science and other materials, but we also keep communicating with our friends and families constantly. Science and technology make us think differently, feel differently, and even dream differently. Some technological devices and applications can improve our working memory, fluid intelligence and multitasking skills. Science generates solutions for everyday life and helps us to answer the great mysteries of the universe. In other words, science is one of the most important channels of knowledge. It has a specific role as well as a variety of functions for the benefit of our society, creating new knowledge, improving education, and increasing the quality of our lives. Many devices such as Google for the blind for easy navigation, 
skin patch that identifies silent heart attacks, gas lighter with gas leaking alarms, and device that differentiates naturally and artificially ripened fruits were all invented by young inventors between the ages of 14 and 20. These inventions remind me of saying by Louis Pasteur, science knows no country because knowledge belongs to humanity and is the torch which, which illuminates the world. Today I will add, Science not only knows country, it doesn't know age too, as these inventions are a proof that the future generation are much smarter with the progressing thinking that will be valuable for the humankind. To further elevate such innovations in the young minds, Government of India, both at the state and center, are motivating the people in higher education to kindle the inexperience in them. <clears throat> One such initiative, the ADA scheme, is bestowed on the colleges with staff <clears throat> status <clears throat> by the Department of Biotechnology, Government of India. Hence, our institution with the prestigious star status from DBT has arranged this one-day interaction program, which will give an experiential learning ambience for the participants. The children, you may be knowing, you all very well know about the characters which I am going to say. Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, the Indian aerospace scientist, Ramanujan, the great Indian science mathematician, V. Raman, Indian physicist, Madame Curie, French physicist and chemist, Charles Darwin and Robert Hooke, great biologist, Microsoft Bill Gates, Apple Steve Jobs, Narayana, <clears throat> Narayana Murthy of Infosys, Sundar Pichai of Google, etc., etc. So it is no wonder that your name will also be added in future in this. What we enjoy today is the hard work behind the inventions of great scientists of the past. What are we going to give to our future generation? Though my dear children, think of it. You have a lot of opportunities. Uh, your the mobile is in your hand now. See that how you are making use of it. Your parents are there. Do you want your parents to supervise you? No need, I suppose. So make use of the opportunities and become future scientists. I hope you will do that. I congratulate convener Dr. Pauline Vasanti Joseph, the IQAC coordinator, for her effort in coordinating this program. The topics for discussion by the resource persons Dr. Carlin Joe Rosario, Assistant Professor, Department of Botany, Dr. Anbarasi, Assistant Professor, Department of Chemistry, Dr. Danlakshmi, Assistant Professor, Department of Zoology, Dr. Franchina Shalini, Assistant Professor, Department of Mathematics. Dr. Sri Lakshmi, Assistant Professor, Department of Geography. Mrs. Niti, Assistant Professor, Department of Information Technology on latest technology in biology and biotechnology. Innovations with chemistry, spatial science, smart mathematics, and artificial intelligence. The day will also be approached with challenging events for the young minds, such as quiz, connections, idea hunt for conservation of nature and iconica. With the blessings of the Lord, I wish this one day interaction program a grand success and a happy learning for all the participants. I will conclude with the words of John Wooded, don't let what you cannot do interfere with what you can do. God bless you. Thank you, sister. Now let's move on to the sessions. Now, first I call Dr. Carolyn Do Rosario, Assistant Professor of Head, Department of Botany, to give a lecture on the topic, Novel Technologies and Their Applications in Biotechnology.
Good morning to all. Good morning, Sister Principal. Good morning, teachers. Good morning, professors, and my dear students. Good morning, ma'am. 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 Welcome you all to my presentation. Novel technologies and the application by technology. I welcome you all for my presentation. Science is a what is science? Science is a rational, never-ending, and unique process of producing tested, evidence-based explanations for the full range of natural phenomena that we observe to occur around us. What is science? Science is created. So biotechnology is a branch of science. What is biotechnology? Biotechnology can be defined as application of technology using the living organisms to obtain useful products. From engineering, cell and molecular biology, microbiology, genetics, physiology, biochemistry, immunology, virology, recombinant DNA technology, and enzymology. Development of biotechnology involves the three biotechnologies, ancient, classical, and modern. And ancient biotechnology, early history relates to food shelter, includes domestication. Classical biotechnology includes fermentation, food production, and medicine. And a modern biotechnology, it manipulates genetic information in an organism called genetic engineering. Domains of biotechnology includes four domains, four major domains, industrial and environmental biotechnology, medical uh, pharmaceutical biotechnology, agriculture biotechnology, and diagnostic research biotechnology. What is biotechnology? Biotechnology is a manipulation of living organisms and organic material to serve human needs. Examples, yeast in bread making and alcohol production, use of beneficial bacteria called penicillin to kill harmful microorganisms, cloning of plants and animals, and artificial insemination. Under biotechnology, there are green biotechnology, blue biotechnology, white biotechnology, and red biotechnology. Green means agriculture, blue, aqua, or marine culture, and white biotechnology are industrial and environmental biotechnology, and red uh, denotes healthcare and medicine. What is genetic engineering? Agriculture. In agriculture, development of genetically modified crops with a purpose to improve both yield and resistance to plant pests or herbicides seems to have gained a degree of public acceptance and is already practiced in a commercial con context in several countries. The introduction of a genetically modified fruit paved the way for the use of genetically modified organisms in food and today's genetic modification is widespread. Change of 
under genetic engineering. Genetic engineering is in vitro DNA technology used to isolate genes from an organism to manipulate them in laboratory as per desire and insert them into the cell or system for specific character. It is also called as gene cloning. Children, you can see this picture. The foreign DNA is introduced into the recombinant new host DNA with help of plasmid. And recombinant DNA technology is one of the recent advances in biotechnology, which was developed by two scientists named Boyer and Cohen in the year 1973. Recombinant DNA technology, otherwise called as rDNA, that uses enzymes to cut and paste together DNA sequence of our interest. The recombinant DNA sequences can be placed into vehicles called cloning vectors that they ferry the DNA into a suitable host. And you can see. In agriculture, we have seen, and the introduction of pest resistant brinjol, also known as eggplant, was met with criticism in some countries in contrast to the concurrent popularity of pest resistant cotton. Both attempts at implementation followed incorporation of the identical crystal protein gene from the soil bacterium called as Bacillus thuringiensis Bt cotton into the genome of the host plant expression of which synthesizes so called Bt toxins that confer resistance to predation by lepidodendron insects. You can see this picture of cotton and Bt cotton corn. Genetically modified crops. Genetically modified crops are called as GN crops or the plants used in agriculture, the DNA of which has been modified using genetic engineering methods. We can see the genetically modified tomatoes, then corn and cotton. Plant genomes can be engineered by physical methods or by the use of agrobacterium or the delivery of sequences hosted in tDNA binary vectors. We can see that with the help of DNA, we can alter the sequence of the DNA and we can alter what we require. Transgenics. Transgenic means that one or more DNA sequences from another species have been introduced by artificial means. Transgenic organisms have also been developed for commercial purposes. You can see the different types of tomatoes and the transgenics. Transgenic animals. Transgenic animals, good or bad. Transgenic animals or animals that are most commonly mice that have a foreign gene deliberately inserted into the genome. We can see the mice and horse and hen, cow, pigs, and fish, and sheep. Such animals are the most commonly created by the metro injection of DNA into the pronuclei of a fertilized egg, which is subsequently implanted into the oviduct of a pseudo-pregnant surrogate mother. The International Rice Research Institute, IRRI, and its national research partners have developed the golden rice to complement existing interventions to address vitamin A deficiency called as VAD. VAD is a serious public health problem affecting millions of children, pregnant women globally. So golden rice and is internet to be used in combination. <laughs> golden rice is intended to be used in combination with existing approaches to overcome VAD called as vitamin A deficiency. Vitamin A or beta carotene eating foods, fortified with vitamin A, taking vitamin A food supplements, and optimal breastfeeding practices. You can see with the help of golden rice, it improves the vitamin A deficiency. In this picture, you can see the golden rice to provide pro vitamin. So, golden rice provides pro vitamins to all the human beings. The possible benefits of genetic engineering include more nutritious food, tastier food, disease and drought resistant plants, and that require fewer environmental resources, like water and fertilizer, less use of pesticides, increased supply of food with reduced cost, longer shelf life, faster growing plants. Food with the more desirable traits such as potatoes that reduce produce less of cancer causing substance which when fried and medicinal foods that could be used used as vaccines or other medicines. In this picture, you can notice the genetically modified food foods. Three principal methods used for the creation of transgenic animals are DNA microinjection, embryonic stem cell mediated gene transfer, and retrovirus mediated gene transfer. So you can see in this picture. We can create a transgenic animal with the help of the DNA. Gene of choice we can take and we can insert in the transgene is injected into the egg of an animal and we can produce a new animal, eggless implanted into a surrogate. You can see the new animal is produced with the help of retrovirus mediated gene transfer. Genetic engineering mainly applications include industry applications by transforming microorganisms such as bacteria or yeast with a gene coding for a useful protein. Mass quantities for the protein can be produced by growing the transformed organism in bioreactors using fermentation, then purifying the protein. 
bioremediation. There is bioremediation with help of microorganisms like pseudomonas and nitrosomonas, or the organisms which I typically utilize in bioremediation. The, which this achieves the purposeful generation of antibiotic resistant organisms uh, which if mishandled could be problematic under natural conditions you can see the microorganisms both bacteria and fungi in this picture and with help of microscope we can view this microorganisms and you can see the bio remediation from the plants the fungi are grown and the bacteria all have the recycling model and that you do, that constitutes the green earth of our total world and you can see the microbial biotechnology includes many uses like manage the biotic stress, it manages the abiotic stress, promotes bioremediation, improve the biomass derived energy techniques, value in addition crops, then increase productivity and product quality of crops, and enhance antigen fixation and increase nutrient uptake. And the, the biotechnology has what field in the for example, at present we can see the coronavirus, uh, the vaccine we introduced here of all problem also while we have students really and it's very for class also we can discuss about stem cells and the organs and gene therapy present situation technological unit we can develop mini plants the help of artificial method you can see the biotechnology. From the biotechnology, we can develop many plants from the plant. From the gene of the plant, it's called the genetic structure. We can go inland and we can make develop the full plant. You can see it has been grown, then it's transferred to the field. You can see the sugar work they during the shoot system and the gain of the complex. So the plant has been filled. And here it is the mini vertical garden. It can go to places. Technology has brought in of medicine, pharmacy, and agricultural to conclude the placing of critical gene instructions in organisms in the development in agriculture, medicine, education, and biotechnology industries. In the case of the organism, the issue for us of the long-term process of the organisms of genetic products affected by equality in the personal health and the environmental and electric food products. It's recently considered the clean of the organism, the range of fields within carefully selected and fit control. Sustainable education means transform novel attitudes and problem solving approaches. So, think about science like scientists, children. Again, it is in your hands for the future. You are the future of science and innovative new questions. so then there is the questions
Ma'am. Yes, it is. Yes, Sandeep Thakur, how to obtain some modification? but directly morphing as an example, which was a code, then a tomato, bridge on, etc. We have the merits of the Share in the chat box and Google Meet as well as in the YouTube. So the link will be enabled for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, it will be disabled. So within 10 minutes, the students have to uh, get the answers of filling the link. Okay. Now the link will be shared in the chat box. So you can start answering the questions. <laughs>
Participants, please mute your audios.
participants please mute your audio
Hello. Hey, come on, ready. Students, hope all, all, all might have completed your quiz. Now we shall move on to session two. Now I call Dr. K. Anbarasi, Assistant Professor, Department of Chemistry, to give a talk on Chemistry Center for All Innovations. Good morning to all. Today, the topic is chemistry, center for all innovations. This is because everything we do is chemistry. In this session, we discuss about uh, the definition, goal, scope, benefits, and the new innovations of chemistry, and some examples of everyday chemistry. So the definition for chemistry, chemistry which deals with the properties, composition, and the structure of elements and compounds. The study of chemicals and the pure science. Chemistry is a study of chemicals and the pure science, which is directly applied to the society. Uh, the study of uh, building blocks of matter and the life is also known as chemistry. 
so which is used to understand the behavior of matter by studying the behavior of atoms and molecules so the chemistry sometimes called as central chemistry this is because which connects various physical science fields such as agricultural science medicine biochemistry forensic science solid state physics atmospheric science chemical engineering and environment scope of chemistry uh, after your ug graduation and pg graduation in chemistry one can easily find job opportunities uh, from pharmaceutical industries chemical manufacturers and forensic science department then plastic industries agrochemical industries dye industries oil gas and power sectors etc so benefits of chemistry so chemistry is essential for meeting our basic needs for example the foods we eat the air we breathe cleaning chemicals our emotions every object we can see or touch which involves chemistry chemistry also help us to solve many future problems which includes sustainable energy and food production managing our environment then providing safe drinking water and promoting human and environmental health also so outstanding contributions in chemistry highly appreciated by nobel prizes so from 1901 to 2021 we received no many uh, i mean so many no nobel prizes in chemistry so the recent innovations only here given uh, in 2017 uh, jack was dobochet and joe kim frank and richard henderson collectively received nobel prize uh, for the developing of cryo electron microscopy for the high resolution structure determination of bio molecules in solution in 2018 george smith and sir gregory winter received nobel prize for chemistry for the work on the therapeutic use of monoclonal antibodies they are especially proteins uh, in 2019 john banister good enough stanley wichingham and akiro yoshino received a uh, nobel prize in chemistry for the development of uh, lithium ion batteries which is highly used in mobile phones notebook computers to electrical devices then in 2020 nobel prize in chemistry received by jennifer anni dodna and emule charpentier for genome editing so mainly they focused the gene functions in living organisms and this is the first science nobel prize received by two women alone and in 2021 benjamin list and david macmillan received a nobel prize in chemistry for their development of a new and ingenious tool for molecule building that is asymmetric organocatalysis uh, in their studies they explained the uh, i mean uh, reactions i mean organic reactions with the help of organic catalyst the significance of chemistry which found various applications in uh, food industry for example uh, chemicals are used as preservatives and food colors and uh, in detergent and soap industries so the raw materials used for these industries are uh, sodium hydroxide potassium hydroxide lauric acid oleic acid etc in medicine sulfur drugs are example for textiles we used cotton linen then uh, um, uh, some rayons nylon so all are close to uh, uh, chemistry then building and construction materials for acrylics and polyurethane molecules we used for building and construction industries in fuel and battery the well known examples are petrol uh, diesel kerosene oil etc in forensic science uh, we can create physical evidences with the help of uh, chemical components uh, for crime investigations and uh, using uh, green chemistry we can easily protect our environment then examples of everyday chemistry which means amma uh, vandu in the examples la everyday nam face pannirpom but idu chemistry da angiradhu namakku theriyadhu so some examples only given here so the first one is elements in body so elements in body generally uh, the body human body composed of 60% of water and rest of the portion is covered by carbon hydrogen nitrogen and oxygen so these elements compose 96% of the human body and the rest of the four percent is composed of around 60 elements they may be calcium phosphorus potassium and sulfur 
Then what is the chemistry of emotions? So the four chemicals which is uh, present in our brain, which direct the our human beings' emotions. So the dopamine is a chemical which is responsible for love, jealousy, envy, and infatuations, even shivering, crying, also related to this dopamine. Then oxytocin and serotonin, so they are considered as a glad hormones. I'm happy happier, what is the meaning? So oxytocin and serotonin highly released in our brain. Then endorphin, which trigger the positive feelings of our human body. Then why is hemoglobin is so important? So because hemoglobin is a protein and also it is a red, uh, color of red blood cells. So what is the role of hemoglobin, which carries oxygen to our body's organs and the tissues and to transport the carbon dioxide from organs and tissues back to our lungs? So the normal range of hemoglobin, especially for men, is around 30 grams to 17 grams per uh, deciliter. For women, it is uh, 12 to 15 grams per deciliter. So why do humans have saliva? What is the need for saliva? So it is the combination of uh, electrolytes, which includes sodium, potassium, calcium, magnesium, bicarbonate, and potassium. So the saliva which helps you enjoy the flavors in our food. So not only the flavors, which helps mash and mix the food, so it is easier to swallow and digest. So it is an exocrine solution, which contains 99% of water. So that's why we need saliva. Then what is the chemical composition of sweat? So sweat is a, which is mainly composed of water and a small amount of ammonia, urea, and salt. So these ammonia and urea salts are obtained from the from our body proteins. So what is the main purpose of sweating? So which helps our body to stay cool and maintain body temperature also. So thyroxine is the main cause of sweating. So when excess of thyroxine, which releases the excessive sweating. So this is the structure of thyroxine. It is a combination of two amino acids. Then how henna leaves produce color to the skin. So when we apply henna leaves on our uh, skin, uh, it produces orange or red color. So this is because of that henna leaves, uh, which contains lazone chemical. This is the structure of lazone. So this lazone, which is reacts with our body protein to produce red or orange color of our skin. Then what, what is gastric juice? So gastric juice is nothing but hydrochloric acid. It is a colorless fluid, so which is secreted by the stomach glands. So inside our stomach, we have HCL. So what is the need of this HCL? It is active in promoting digestion. And also it, it is used to inactivate swallowed microorganisms, thereby inhibiting the infectious agents from reaching the intestine. Then it is used to react with food to further break it down so they can be easily absorbed into our bloodstream through the walls of the intestine. So this is the basic use of our gastric juice. Then this chemical is used in breath analyzer. So this breath analyzer, policemen uh, nowadays used. So what is the purpose of uh, this breath analyzer? It is used to check uh, drunk driving person. So the, that is the main aim. And also it is used to estimate the alcohol content in the driver's breath. So this device uh, generally made up of a mouthpiece and two chambers which containing a liquid reddish orange solution of potassium dichromate. It is a chemical compound. Using this chemical compound, we can analyze whether the driver drunk. Okay. So which is connected to a meter that detects a change in color also. So when the subject, here subject means the drunken person exhales through the mouthpiece into a test chamber, the color changes to green. Suppose if the color changes to green means we can easily identify that a drunken person. So the more ethanol content present, the greater the amount of green color is produced. So this is the well-known device to identify the drunken driving persons. Then chemistry of cars airbag. So yella car le airbag So a severe car crash triggers the ignition of sodium aside. What is the meaning? So that airbag which is filled with sodium aside, it is a solid molecule. So when car crash occurs, which triggers the ignition, ignition of sodium aside, that is the conversion of uh, sodium aside into sodium and the nitrogen gas. So that nitrogen gas, which inflate fully within 40 milliseconds, which is protecting passengers from injury. So that sudden crash and the sodium aside, sodium nitrogen convert. So that nitrogen gases 
which is uh, filled with uh, that air bag and to protect the passengers. So this is the chemistry of car's air bag. Then what kind of reaction is boiling and egg? Oh, so when hot boil and egg, the hydrogen sulfate, that is uh, egg which contains two parts, one is uh, egg white and the egg yellow. So when we hard boil an egg, the hydrogen sulfide produced from egg white, which is readily reacts with iron. Iron is, which is present in our egg yolk, that is egg yellow. So uh, react with iron from the egg yolk to form a grayish green ring around the yolk, so which is denoted in this image. So these eggs are good source of protein and biotin. So what is the need for this egg? So it is important for hair growth. Then which chemical is used in toothpaste? So every day we used toothpaste. So it is a combination of uh, fluoride, glycerol, sorbitol, and calcium carbonate. So what is the purpose of uh, fluoride? It is used to prevent cavities, tooth decay, and has post, uh, beneficial effects on the formation of uh, dental enamels and the bones. So the glycerol uh, keeps toothpaste from drying out and it helps it to glide smoothly from the test tube. I mean, um, toothpaste tube then sorbitol which is acting as a sweetening agent and the calcium carbonate used to remove the surface stains on our teeth then which elements used in smartphones so various elements are used for the preparation of smartphone especially copper gold silver used for the wiring purpose then lithium cobalt used in the battery preparation purpose then aluminium, silicon, oxygen, and potassium are used for the uh, preparation of the glass screen, display screen. So generally, the phone displays are made up of gorilla glass. So this is a lightweight glass, which is more resistant to damage. So this uh, gorilla glass is strengthened by the addition of uh, uh, the chemical potassium nitrate. So why green parts of potatoes are not advisable to eat? So potato green color, so what is the reason? This is because the potato green part of the potatoes, which contains a toxic compound solanine. So when potato tubers are exposed to light, they turn green and they increase glycol alkaloid production. So the so much of intake of solanine causes diarrhea, fever and headache also. That's why we have to avoid, uh, I mean, uh, green parts of potatoes. So this is the structure of solanine, which is present in the potato. Then why is a switchboard panel made of backlight? Because backlight is a phenol formaldehyde resin. It is also a thermosetting polymer. So which prevent us from shock and control electricity. And it, it is a bad conductor of electricity. So it will not burn easily and will not cause harm for us. That's why we are preparing switchboard uh, I mean, plug panels are uh, prepared by the backlight material. So this is the uh, structure of backlight, which is uh, prepared or synthesized from uh, phenol and formaldehydes. Then which chemical is present in cigarette smoke? So tobacco smoke, which contains a combination of uh, benzopyrin, nicotine, and carbon monoxide. So these chemicals are highly carcinogenic, which leads to lung cancer. So especially, especially in this combination, uh, nicotine, which is hardening of the arterial walls, may lead to a heart attack also. So the first structure is uh, uh, the benzobirin structure. The second one is nicotine, which is a plant alkaloid. Then why the bitter, bitter gourd is so bitter and which chemical is responsible for aroma of goa? So uh, the momordicin, it is a chemical compound. The presence of this chemical, which makes the bitter gourd is so bitter. In the same way, the pleasant smell of kova, which is responsible for the aroma of uh, beta karyophyllin. Then, chemistry of anti corruption process. So, nowadays, we have a paper and the lunch is arrested. So, what is the reason behind that? And the note is that the police are catch the police. So, what is the real chemistry behind that process? So, the trap team, that is <coughs> vigilance officers, uh, they are catches the uh, public servant for taking bribe red handed. So, when the currency notes that <coughs> Currency notes coated with phenaphthalene powder. It is a colorless powder which are delivered to the accused public servant by the complainant on demand. So the phenaphthalene powder gets transferred from currency notes 
to the hands of the accused upon handling the currency notes so appo the note vaangnaley namalala kandupidikka mudiyuma appadina after they received that currency notes the accused hands washed with 2 to 3 percentage of sodium carbonate solution it is a base medium so the color changes from colorless to pink because phenaphthalene is a colorless powder when you are washing our hands with sodium carbonate solution it turns to pink color so from this observation we can easily identified the that bribe red handed person then why slicing of onion makes us cry <clears throat> this is because when we are slicing onion it produces synpropenthyl s oxide chemical so which stimulates sensory neurons in the <clears throat> i causing a stinging sensation so therefore the eye produces tears to flush it out so the main component present in the flavor and the order of both onion and garlic is allicin so this is the, the second structure is uh, structure of allicin whereas the first one is the structure of uh, synpropenthyl s oxide then which chemical is responsible for color of uh, beetroot turmeric and carrot so beetroot is uh, violet in color or sometimes dark red in color so this is because of the presence of the chemical betanin so this is the structure betanin then curcumin yellow in color so this is because of the presence of uh, the chemical curcumin and uh, carrot is uh, orange in color generally so this is because of the presence of beta carotene so all these three components have so many biological activities also then what is detol made of so uh, every day uh, we use a detol for cleaning purpose this detol also used as a antiseptic so it is a mixture of 4.8% chlorozylenol and small amount of uh, pine oil isopropanol castor oil soap and water then it is used to bactericidal in low concentration it's very low concentration which is acting as a bactericidal agent it means which is completely kill the growth of the bacteria and this material highly active against both gram positive and the gram negative species then why mercury is used in thermometer because mercury is a Uh, only element which exists as liquid state at room temperature and it has a high coefficient of expansion and high boiling point that is the one reason then uh, the slightest change in temperature is notable when it's uh, used in a thermometer and it is mainly used to measure high temperatures that's why we used the mercury in thermometer then chemistry of characteristic order of fish fish market pona theriyum eppadi smell adikkolo so which chemical is responsible for that smell so when fish are killed bacteria and the fish enzymes convert trimethylamine oxide which is already present in the fish so that the trimethylamine oxide which is converted into trimethylamine so which gives off the characteristic fishy odor so what is the uh, which chemical is responsible uh, for the fishy odor of uh, fish that is uh, trimethyl amine so it is the derivative of ammonia then chemistry of uh, green tea so nowadays we used green tea for for healthy so the green tea is highly rich source of flavonoids and uh, so many polyphenolic compounds so here which is uh, i mean drinking green tea is highly associated with uh, weight loss weight reduction and also reduce the risk of diabetes heart disease and cancer also so this is the catechin a polyphenolic compound highly present in the green tea so for our every movement chemistry plays an important role so without chemistry we will not exist hope you understand you can listen some points about the significance of chemistry thank you Yes. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Have any questions? Thank you, Dr. Angarasi. Now the session is open for queries. You can put your questions in the chat box. Your questions will be answered by ma'am. is one question in the chat box uh, how ignition of sodium acid happens the sudden crash of cars which ignites automatically that sodium acide 
which produces the nitrogen gas and the sodium because of the sudden crash. So backlight is a uh, polymeric material. Okay, so that backlight is prepared by the use of uh, uh, phenol and formaldehyde. So the reaction between phenol and formaldehyde, which gives the uh, structure, a whole structure of backlight. It is a hard material, polymer material, which is used for the preparation of switchboards, plug panels, etc. Backlight is nothing but it is phenol formaldehyde resin. The other sources of vimardesin, so it is the uh, bitterness compound, which is also present in uh, mainly present in bitter guard only. I think so. Or we can synthesize that memoirism. So fish order is happened because of which chemical? So that is uh, uh, trimethylamine. So our fish contains uh, uh, trimethylamine oxide. Okay, so when the fishes are killed, it produces, which, is, which converts uh, that uh, trimethylamine into uh, trimethylamine only. That oxides are eliminated, that's why the, which is, uh, it is a characteristic order of fish. So what are the elements in battery of mobile? So in battery, we used lithium ions. Okay, sometimes we used sulfuric acid, small amount of sulfuric acid uh, for the uh, formation of a full battery. Green tea, which contains, green tea, which contains a variety of polyphenolic compounds. So those uh, in that green tea, catechin is responsible for the uh, weight loss for weight loss purpose, catechin which is used highly. So, detal is nothing but it is a phenolic derivative. So, it is a combination of uh, phenol, I mean uh, chloroxylenol, and small amount of pine oil. For fra fragrance purpose, we used uh, pine oil, um, some uh, chemical compounds. Uh, we are adding that detal. So gorilla glass uh, generally made up of uh, silicon compounds. Okay, so that silicon compounds also strengthened by the use of uh, potassium nitrate. So that's why we phone or cell phone la pati na kila porta kora na mala la what is the meaning? Which is highly strengthened by the addition of potassium nitrate. So, which chemical in detail prevents from loss of hand moisture and keeping our hands soft? Hands soft. So, the main chemical is chlorosilina, so which is present in 4.8 percentage. So, this is responsible. About henna, I can't understand. So, when you apply henna paste, what happens? Reddish orange. Reddish orange. So, uh, so, what chemical reactions occur in that uh, henna paste means that henna leaves, which contains the chemical lawson, that lawson which is reacted with the uh, our body protein. Our body is made up of some proteins. Okay, so that uh, the interaction between that lawson and the protein, so which easily produces the color orange. So clear now, Ravi. Why mercury is used in thermometer? So because it has a high expansion boiling point and a high expansion.
expansion heat exp expansion point also. That's why we used a mercury thermometer. And also used to predict a higher temperature. What chemical is used in pre analyzer? It is potassium dichromate. With the use of uh, potassium dichromate, we can analyze how much of uh, alcohol content is present in the uh, drunken drivers. So, because of the heat expansion and uh, uh, maintain that heat temperature, we didn't use that non metal in thermometer. After the causes of solanine, so that is when uh, uh, the potatoes looks like a green color, but the green part is highly contains that a toxic element solanine, so we have to avoid it to eat. Shall we wind up the session? Yes, ma'am. Thank you for your active participation. Thank you, Ananda. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Event and exchange. Thank you, ma'am. I invite Dr. Divya from the Department of Biology to give the instruction for the event. Over to you. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, thank you, Anbarasimha. Now, next we all move, move on to the chemistry event connections. Now, Dr. Divya from Department of Chemistry will give the uh, instruction for this event. Over to you, Divya. National Poison. 
dear participants connection link posted in the chat box you please find it Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. Shall I tell the rules for uh, connection, ma'am? Dear students, am I audible to you? Yes, ma'am. Are you attending the chemistry quiz, connection quiz? 
Yes, ma'am. Yes. So here are the rules for the connection mark. Uh, the question is given, and below that, few pictures are given. So you have to match it with the question and also with the option. So choose the correct uh, option uh, that is related to the picture. So these are the rules. And uh, you have to give your name, email ID, class, name of the school, and place. And after that, you can attend your connection quiz. So you have to match it with the picture. Miss Ling, connect your Martin Miss. Try it again, ma. Do connect. Ajay, did you get the link, ma? Is the link opening? Yes, ma. No, ma. Please share here. Ma'am, it is opening. Excuse me, ma'am. Please share the link. No share the link in the group which you have created. Please kindly share the link there. Hello. Hello. Kindly share the link in the group which you have created. Uh, okay. Uh, you, you have uh, you are joined by which department, ma'am? I'm from Indore. I'm from Indore. Kindly wait. Ma'am, it's not connecting, ma'am. Ma, I have, again, I have pasted the link in the chat box. You can go through by that link. If there is any problem, kindly inform me. Is it working now? Okay, ma'am. Kindly attend. 10 minutes will be given to you. So try to attend it fast. No, ma'am. It's not connecting. Ma'am. Ma, try it at the place where you get good connection, ma. I think you have a poor network connectivity. Miss, I have. I put password is not opening. Mom, I completed the quiz. Students, hope you might have completed your uh, connections. Now we'll take a break for 15 minutes. We shall be back by 11 o'clock.
Gladisha 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 Industry
Dear students, two minutes for for the connection quiz. Finish it fast. The response will be closed soon. Panama class.
now welcome back students now we are we will we will move on to session 3 now i call upon dr b dhanlakshmi assistant professor department of zoology to talk uh, to talk on a topic biology for the future of mankind hi my dear little friends i welcome you all for the science ada one day interaction program under the aegis of azadi ka amritam mahotsav funded by the star college scheme dbt government of india so here we are today you will be going to know about the magic of a science so everybody when you hear the term science you will have a kind of a feeling are you science or biology or you have a kind of a, a feel to move away from this term but girls and children students everybody the future of mankind is in the hands of science so today we'll be seeing about the magic what science does in everyone's life so before going to know about the magic of science first we'll know about what a science so when you know science it is nothing a simple a way of systematic observation systematically when you start observing any kind of a concept that will slowly take you into the next step called an experiment when you do experiment along with the systematic observation you will be getting an answer which will be a kind of a measurement that answer will help you to understand the behavior or nature or about the physical chemical biological property of the material or organism or whatever you have taken for your systematic observation and then after analyzing it observing it experimentally knowing the quality of a thing you will end up with a formulation that may be a law that may be a theory or that may be a concept or whatever it is finally when you end up you will have the results in your hand that will be a fact so you must have heard about science is always talks about fact so now by going through all these kind of step wise procedures like observing doing experiment measuring analyzing and formulating you will end up with a fact so that is a very simple thing science so next thing is you may have a question why science with at the start of this presentation you may have a question why science but at the end of the presentation you may ask yourself why not science so let me tell you why science because science is a kind of a blessing to every human being because it gives you a significant part by enhancing the standard of living of any mankind why because science is present everywhere it is present omnipresent and it is an omnipotent thing that you cannot never deny for an example when you get up in the morning you take a brush in your hand there starts the science and everything that you touch that you come across in your life in a day a single day till you go to the bed you come across science so science is the main protagonist in every part of our life and it is also an essential element that is required by each and every one in the daily life now after hearing to this message also you will have a question why science because science is very complicated and uh, when you heard about the term science you have so much question marks around your mind but to explain you my dear of little friends science is just a study not of only organism not only of a living cell or of any physiological biological or energy or whatever it is always science helps you to move ahead to make your life easy to make your life comfortable because 
it always stick on with technology. So science, when you talk about science, it is just like a tree trunk. That is the main science. Always a tree trunk will have so much number of branches and those branches are different subjects that is put together. So it is like a life tree. Science is like a tree which has so many branches and all the branches of science will be there together. So it is not a single concept. It brings in so many technologies and branches associated with it. So to put in a very single term, it is a progress in the discovery of more and more things attached with technology to make each and everyone's life easier. You may be now getting into the term why I'm saying life easier, because in those days, to take a medicine or to bring a disease down or to get the cure of a disease, it was very difficult because the medicine invention period takes a lot for more time. But currently the pandemic situation, COVID, you may see the inventions, innovations, strategies, they adopted to invent the vaccine. That was much easier. So it made to protect ourselves with the technology. So sciences always combines with the technology to make everyone's life very easier. Now, as I said, it is actually a combination of so many fields. So it teaches you about the structure and function. It also helps you to understand the changes and development occurs in each one's life, starting from the embryology till the evolution. You may have a question. Have though we have come up from monkey or what? Whether the chick has come from egg or what? You have a question. So the field of biology with many branches that starts to explain you the changes, the developments, the structure, the function, and the living things around you, and the non-living things around you, and the group of main concepts of bacteria, microbiology, so many ologies are there associated with the biology. So the science is a combination of much more applied technologies. Basically, Whatever you are doing now is with the help of science. So the branches that helps you to live a cozy and comfortable life is morphology, anatomy, histology, cytology. You will know about cell that is present inside a body with the help of cytology and cell biology. And now to know each and every actions that is taking place inside your body like starting the food how it is converted to energy that is through the molecular biology and how your organs function inside your body with the help of physiology the biotic and abiotic components that is present around you to a subject which is called ecology how a baby develops with the help of a science which is called as embryology and what all the disease, why you get disease, how you are looking like your parents, how your actions replicate your parents, that you may know by a subject which is called as genetics, and about paleontology, that is about the fossil studies, taxonomy, the where the life origin, how far we have been hierarchically placed now, and how far we have evolved that all comes here under the taxonomy and evolution. The main thing pathology is about the organisms, microorganisms. So now when you look into the list of branches, don't you think that is related to you in everyday life? And there are two things. One is applied science. Applied science includes both the subjects like botany and zoology, which talks about agriculture, horticulture, pharmacognosy and forestry. When you talk about zoology, it is regarding the vermicomposting, sericulture, apiculture, pisciculture, animal husbandry, poultry, and lab culture. So these are the sciences that are surrounding you. Second more thing is technology oriented. So the inventions like medical coding, transcriptions, all the sort technology oriented. So there are 
applied and technology oriented branches of science in your everyday life do you think there is any kind of relationship with the science with other sciences yes of course you may find every time there is one subject has a role with other subject they help hand in hand so when you talk about biology it has a linking hand with chemistry biochemistry and with economics with mathematics with biophysics and the geography what not everything i'm just quoting you a few subject relationship but all kind of branches of science are interrelated together which is always supporting you to live a very healthy and happier life so science is really a wonderful magic when you talk about science there is an undeniable fact that you should know about science it help you to understand the nature it help you to understand that biotic and abiotic component that is surrounding by you. the living thing and non living thing that is always needed by you it help you to understand whether a tsunami is going to come whether a weather changes there whether the climate is going to change all kind of related things will be a, you will be able to understand because with the help of a science and the technology it is an undeniable fact again it plays a very strong role in research every day every minute every second around the world researchers are going on the scientific people the scientists are working through so many areas finding out so many innovations with beautiful strategies to make our life easy healthier comfortable and to protect us from all kind of calamities they are working throughout the world so it is an undeniable fact that it has a role in research moreover it also help us to understand each and every human being anatomy by understanding our body system how it functions how it helps to live a healthy life each and everything starting from your eyes till your starting from your tip to toes everything you can understand yourself when you are in touch with science when you learn science you will be able to understand very clearly that it is an undeniable fact that it will help you to understand who you are how you are and what you are made up of and now moving on to the environmental so it is also having its hand in environment how the environment and, and you how is the climatic around you is how the water bodies around you are how the animals playing major role in the environment and how these animals are supporting us why we have to conserve nature what is the ecological situation prevailing in a particular environment all kind of informations are undeniable facts that is given by science now moving on to the main thing that is the medicine so now the current scenario you must be aware of the role of science in medicines there are much more of innovations going in pharmacokinetics pharmacology medical departments through various doctors there are so many inventions going on in helping the human being living a healthy life now there is another prime important undeniable fact that is every human being in the current scenario are in need of healthy food we have been now moving towards the organic food to live a healthy and safe life so this organic farming is helped with kind of technology that is called as permit technology soil waste management technology which help us to renovate our soil keep our soil healthy nutritionally and produce a food the production of food in a very healthier way so that it doesn't cause any serious diseases to the human being after consumption so this we'll be knowing about the main role that the science plays in everybody's life now after seeing this undeniable plants again in your mind why is it very necessary that you have to study about science yes especially biology yes that is a beautiful question but still there is an answer 
that it is a subject that help you to study about the life and about the living organism it helps you to understand each and every organism's structure function their distribution their growth parameters and taxonomically how they have come and how they have been evolved so it helps you to study in nature how you are or how any organism are everything that is with help and moreover additionally it helps you to know about the basic unit of life how you are living what is the reason why you are alive the basic unit of life that each and every cell that is present in an organism or human being and about the characters carried from one generation to another generation via a gene that is the basic unit of heritage it also help you to know about the creation of new species through a point called evolution so it is very important that biology and science is a kind of a magic that you should know and now we have seen what is science and what all the importance of science and what the major role that plays by the science in every human being and now i'm going to tell you about the magic that the science plays so many innovations are made in life sciences what all the innovations See one by one. The innovations are biology-based productions. All are biology that is basically organic products, bio-oriented products that is helping us to improve our performance and sustainability of life. The second most thing is it all the products that this production is made on the biological base. not only improves the performance or the sustainability but it also help you to have a control and precision towards the target action for an example let you tell you the nanotechnology is one of the branch of a science which are currently uh, in trend the nanoparticles that help us to reach the target the medicine for an example if you take a diabetic patient every day in life has to get an injection insulin injection but there is a technology there is an inventor which is called as a, a a tool which is called as a nano robo which when injected into your body when added with the drug they will go directly not moving anywhere else or disturbing any other thing in your body directly goes to the target where the insulin is required and precisely what quantity has to be allowed will be released in the particular place so the biology based production it improves the performance and sustainability and also controls the precision of their target action and there are the ability of the production by the engineers are very much highly uh, appreciable because each and every time when you need it it can be reprogrammed in any organism according to the need of an organism and the research development productivity always is supported by the automation that is with support of artificial intelligence so this help you to get immediate action see for an example when you need the medicine to be released it will be fixed inside the organ via a robotic machine that will be placed which is a biodegradable one once the action is complete it will degrade and it will move out of the body but that automated machine that is placed inside the organism i mean the uh, the robot which is placed inside is a biology biology based product so it will be functioning with the help of artificial intelligence so at the time of 9 if you want insulin it will be released at the time of 12 if you want insulin it will release because it is enabled by automation and artificial intelligence so now next thing is the potential so since all these comforts are provided with the help of the innovations due to science it helps us growing the bio machine interfaces and computations which will help us to have a happy and comfortable healthy life now moving on to the next magic that is given by the sciences the technologies 
so much recent technologies are adopted in science by improving RNA analysis, decoding the microbiomes, and computing the cancer technology, finding cancer at the very easiest way, enhancing the gene therapy. Single cell is sequenced, and there are a lot more of information can be obtained, linking all the genomic structure together and forming a human genome project and remote sensing tools will be placed in animals to find out the nature and behavior of the animals. Biochip is actually a single chip based on a, uh, on a, uh, like a computer chip. Every um, uh, DNA, RNA molecules are placed in a single chip, which help us to analyze the reaction that is happening inside the body. Bioinformatics, that is one of the recent technologies in biology which help you to uh, understand the RNA, DNA, protein, lipid concept through various tools at a very easier way. Especially bioinformatics help you to understand the metabolic pathways that is happening inside your body, how disease is caused, how it can be rectified, all could be done with the help of bioinformatic technology and also molecular dynamic calculations, how molecules are working inside your body, and scanning probe microscopes, NMR imagining, and biosensors. See, when you walk into a particular uh, place, uh, automatically the uh, door opens. And when you wash your hand in a uh, wash basin, automatically the water comes out like that. Biosensors can be placed inside your body where automatically whatever is required can be done for you with the help of biosensors and biomarkers will help you to identify where your problem arises and how far it can be rectified and what kind of cure can be given with the help of biomarkers. There are a lot more in tissue engineering and recombinant technology. So the next generation will have so much techniques. When you, my dear little friends, you have a passion towards the science, you may go to the next generation techniques and you may have inventions in uh, much more of new, more advanced technologies. Now, there are so much, but still, I'm going to tell you about only top 10. 50 years of life of innovations have done. So much of them has been invented, but still, I'm going to talk about only top 10. The Human Genome Project. This project is a very big achievement because it helps to identify, map, and sequence all the genes that is present, both in the physical point of view and functional standpoint of view. So Human Genome Project is the same ஒரு <laughs> இப்ப அடுத்தது பாத்தீங்கன்னா கிறிஸ்பர் சொல்லுவாங்க அது வந்து ஒரு ஃபாஸ்ட் அண்ட் ஈஸி வே சீக்கிரமா அது ஒரு டூல் பயோஇன்ஃபர்மேட்டிக் டூல் அது என்ன பண்ணுவோம்னு பாத்தீங்கன்னா அவங்களோட டிஎன்ஏ டிஎன்ஏ தானே ரொம்ப முக்கியமான விஷயம் நம்ம உடம்புல அந்த டிஎன்ஏவை எடிட் பண்ணி எப்படி வேணாலும் சேஞ்ச் பண்ணி மாத்திக்கலாம் மாத்தி உங்களுக்கு வந்து என்ன பண்ணலாம்னா உங்களை ஒரு நோயில இருந்து குணப்படுத்துறதோ அதுல இருந்து ஒரு ப்ராப்ளத்தை சால்வ் பண்ண முடியுமா என்ன வியாதி இருக்கு எல்லாத்தையும் கண்டுபிடிக்கிறதுக்கு இந்த டூல் ரொம்ப உங்களுக்கு உதவியா இருக்கு நெக்ஸ்ட் பாத்தீங்கன்னா ஜெனடிக் ஃபிங்கர் பிரிண்டிங் So it is actually you know, Kulai Kutram Allah Nadakar Adakal and where are the crimes that are happening? Crime, criminologies. What do they do? They are doing the DNA fingerprinting. Who is the one who is doing it? 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 With only a single DNA sample. If you look at 23andMe, that is an invention. If you look at 23 pairs of chromosomes, அந்த ட்வெண்ட்டி த்ரீ பேர் ஆஃப் குரோமோசோம்ஸ் என்னென்ன வேலை பண்ணும் என்னென்ன பண்ணும் எப்படி பண்ணும் எந்த நிமிஷம் பண்ணும் அப்படின்றத நமக்கு தெரியாது படிச்சிருக்கோம் ஆனால் தெரியாது அப்படின்ற போது நம்ம வாயில் இருக்கிற அந்த சலைவாவை மட்டும் எடுத்து அந்த சலைவா சாம்பிளை வச்சு நம்ம உடம்புல இருக்கிற ட்வெண்ட்டி த்ரீ பேர்ஸ் ஆஃப் குரோமோசோம்ஸ் ஐடென்டிஃபை பண்ணி அது என்னென்ன ஆக்ஷன் கொடுக்கும் அப்படின்றத நம்ம பார்த்துக்கலாம் தட் இஸ் கால் எஸ் ட்வெண்ட்டி த்ரீ அண்ட் மீ அடுத்தது க்ளோனிங் நீங்க எல்லாருமே படிச்சிருப்பீங்க கேள்விப்பட்டிருப்பீங்க க்ளோனிங் இருக்கிறதுனால நமக்கு எவ்வளோ ஒரு அதுக்கு ப்ரோஸ் இருக்கு கான்சும் இருக்கு ஆனா கிளோனிங் ஆல்சோ ஒன் ஆஃப் த இன்வென்ஷன் 
அடுத்தது பாத்தீங்கன்னா என்ஜினியர்டு ஆர்கன் சொல்லுவாங்க இந்த என்ஜினியர்டு ஆர்கன் என்னன்னு பாத்தீங்கன்னா நம்ம முதல்ல எல்லாம் கேள்விப்பட்டிருப்போம் ஆர்கன் ஏதாவது நம்ம உடம்புக்குள்ள இருக்க ஒரு கிட்னியோ ஒரு ஹார்ட்டோ ஒரு ஏதோ ஒரு பிரச்சனை வந்துச்சுன்னா அதை கட் பண்ணிடுவாங்க எடுத்துருவாங்க ரிமூவ் பண்ணிடுவாங்கன்னு சொல்லுவாங்க பட் இங்க என்ன நடக்கும்னா அந்த ஆர்கனை நம்ம எடுக்கணும்னு அவசியம் இல்லை எந்த இடம் கஷ்டப்பட்டிருக்கோ எந்த இடம் நஷ்டப்பட்டிருக்கோ அடிப்பட்டிருக்கோ அழுகி போயிருக்கோ அந்த இடத்துல நம்ம வந்து என்ஜினியர்டு ஆர்கனை நம்ம உருவாக்கி அந்த இடத்துல கொண்டு போய் அட்டாச் பண்ணிட்டா போதும் அந்த ஆர்கன் அந்த ஆர்கனோட பழைய ஆர்கனோட சேர்த்து வேலை செய்ய ஆரம்பிச்சிடும் ஸோ இட் வில் ஒர்க் இன் அ நார்மல் வே ஒரு யூரினரி பிளாடர் வேலை செய்யலன்னு வச்சுக்கோங்களேன் இந்த மாதிரி ஒரு என்ஜினியர் ஆர்கன் அதோட அட்டாச் பண்ணோம்னா அந்த பிளாடர் வேலை செய்ய ஆரம்பிச்சிடும் நார்மலா ஸோ இது வந்து ஒரு பியூட்டிஃபுல் இன்வென்ஷன் ஸோ நம்ம கிட்ட இருக்கிற ஒரு பொருளை நம்ம இழக்க வேண்டும் அவசியம் கிடையாது பட் அடிஷனலா அது ஆட் ஆகும் அடுத்தது பாத்தீங்கன்னா பியாண்ட் மீட் பர்கர் எல்லாத்துக்கும் பர்கர் ரொம்ப பிடிக்கும் பீட்சா ரொம்ப பிடிக்கும் ஹாம்பர்க் ரொம்ப பிடிக்கும் இதெல்லாம் சாப்பிட்றதுக்கு ரொம்ப இஷ்டம் ஜங்க் ஃபுட்ஸ் ஆனா இது எல்லாமே வந்து பாத்தீங்கன்னா மீட் ஆரிஜின் அனிமல் டிஷ்யூ ஆரிஜின் அப்படின்ற போது கொழுப்பு அதிகமா இருக்கும் நம்ம உடம்பு ஆனா அந்த இதே பிளான் ப்ராடக்டா இருந்ததுன்னா ஃபைபர் அதிகமா இருக்கும் ஸோ அதனால பியாண்ட் மீட் பர்கர் அப்படின்றது பாத்தீங்கன்னா பிளான்ட் பேஸ்ட் பர்கர் ஆனா பிளான்ட்னா நமக்கு கீரை அது இதெல்லாம் பிடிக்காது நிறைய பேர் ஆனா அந்த பிளான்டோட டேஸ்ட் கூட இல்லாம அனிமல் டிஷ்யூட டேஸ்டோட செய்யறது தான் பியாண்ட் மீட் பர்கர் ஒரு புது கைண்ட் ஆஃப் இன்வென்ஷன் அடுத்தது பாத்தீங்கன்னா கோல்டன் ரைஸ் உங்களுக்கு நல்லா தெரியும் இந்தியாவோட பாப்புலேஷன் கண்ணா பின்னா நெகிரி போயிட்டு இருக்கு ஸோ அந்த அந்த பாப்புலேஷன் நம்ம சாட்டிஸ்ஃபை பண்ணணும் ஃபுட் கொடுக்கணும் அவங்கள சேஃபா வச்சுக்கணும் அப்படின்னா பயோ ஃபார்ட்டிஃபைட் ஃபுட்ஸ் அதாவது காஸ்ட் எஃபெக்டிவா எல்லாத்துக்கும் எல்லாத்துக்கும் ஃபுட் கிடைக்கணும் யாருக்குமே வறுமைன்றது இருக்கக்கூடாது அப்படின்றதுனால தே ஹவ் ஃபவுண்ட் ஆஃப் அ டெக்னாலஜி கால் இஸ் கோல்டன் ரைஸ் இட் இஸ் கால் இஸ் அ பயோ ஃபார்ட்டிஃபைட் ஃபுட் பயோ ஃபார்ட்டிஃபைட் ஃபுட் மேம் இதெல்லாம் சொல்றீங்க ஆனா இதுல எல்லாமே நமக்கு கிடைக்குமா நம்ம நேச்சுரலா சாப்பிடுற எல்லாமே அதாவது ஒண்ணுமே மாறாது எப்படி நம்ம சாதாரணமா அரிசி சாப்பிடுறோமோ அதே டேஸ்டோட தான் இந்த பயோ ஃபார்ட்டிஃபைட் ஃபுட்டும் நமக்கு இருக்கும் எல்லாம் நியூட்ரியன்ஸ் இருக்கும் டார்கெட்ஸ்க்கு எல்லாமே ரீச் ஆகும் ஸோ இட் வில் மீட் தி டிமாண்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் த பாப்புலேஷன் நவ் அனதர் ஒன் பியூட்டிஃபுல் இன்னோவேஷன் அப்படி என்னன்னு பாத்தீங்கன்னா சிஏஆர் அப்படின்னு ஒரு இன்னோவேஷன் அதாவது என்னன்னா நமக்கு உடம்புல நோய் வருது அப்படின்னா அதுக்கு நம்ம டபிள்யூபிசி செல்ஸ் வந்து சப்போர்ட் பண்ணா அந்த இம்யூன் சிஸ்டம் இன்க்ரீஸ் ஆகும் நம்ம உடம்புல எதிர்ப்பு சக்தி இன்க்ரீஸ் ஆகும் இந்த டபிள்யூபிசி செல்ஸ் நம்ம உடம்புல சார்ஜ் கம்மி ஆயிடுச்சு வேலை செய்யறது கம்மி பண்ணுச்சுன்னா நமக்கு நோய் அதிகமா வரும் அப்படின்ற போது கொஞ்சம் நம்ம உடம்புல இருக்கிற டபிள்யூபிசி செல்ஸ் எடுத்துட்டு அதை சூப்பர் சார்ஜ் பண்ணி திருப்பியும் நம்ம உடம்புக்குள்ள செலுத்திடுவாங்க அப்படி செலுத்தும் போது என்ன ஆகும் பாத்தீங்கன்னா நமக்கு இந்த நோய் எதிர்ப்பு சக்தி இன்க்ரீஸ் ஆகி நம்ம நோயில இருந்து விடுபடலாம் ஆக்சுவலா பாத்தீங்கன்னா இந்த கேன்சர் பேஷன்ட்ஸ் ஹெச்ஐவி பேஷண்ட் இவங்களுக்கு எல்லாம் பாத்தீங்கன்னா எதிர்ப்பு சக்தி ரொம்ப கம்மியா இருக்கும் இப்ப நமக்குமே இந்த கோவிட் பீரியட்ல என்ன சொல்றாங்க எதிர்ப்பு சக்தி பத்திரமா நிறைய பார்த்து பாதுகாத்து வச்சுக்கணும் வெளியே போகக்கூடாது நல்ல எதிர்ப்பு சக்தி கொடுக்கக்கூடிய உணவுகள் சாப்பிடணும்னு சொல்றாங்க ஆனா இந்த சிஏஆர்டி அப்படின்ற ஒரு டெக்னாலஜி என்ன பண்ணணும் பாத்தீங்கன்னா நம்மளோட டபிள்யூபிசி செல்ஸ சூப்பர் சார்ஜ் பண்ணி நமக்கு திருப்பியும் உடம்புல பிளட் வழியா செலுத்தினாங்கன்னா நமக்கு எதிர்ப்பு சக்தி இன்க்ரீஸ் ஆகும் எஸ்பெஷலி ஃபார் த கேன்சர் பர்சன் இட் இஸ் அன் இம்யூனோ தெராப்பின்னு சொல்லுவாங்க நைட் அடுத்தது பாத்தீங்கன்னா இனோவேஷன்ஸ் என்னென்னலாம் இன்னும் பண்ணிக்கிட்டு இருக்காங்க ஸ்டில் இன்னும் அது வந்து ஆன் த வேலையே போயிட்டு இருக்கு வர்ச்சுவல் ஹெல்த் சர்வீசஸ் டைரக்டா நம்ம கான்ஃபரன்ஸ்ல டாக்டர்ஸை பார்த்து பேசிக்கலாம் அவங்க அங்கிருந்து பார்த்து நமக்கு கண்டிஷன்ஸ் பார்த்து நமக்கு தே வில் பி டூயிங் சர்வீசஸ் நெக்ஸ்ட் ஒன் இஸ் த ரோபோட்டிக் சர்ஜரி அது நீங்க பார்த்திருப்பீங்க யூ வுட் ஹவ் லேர்ன் அண்ட் ஸ்டில் இட் இஸ் பிராக்டிஸ்ட் ரோபோட்ஸ் வில் டூயிங் த சர்ஜரி அண்ட் தென் ஹியூமன் ஜெனடிக் மாடிஃபிகேஷன்ஸ் தட் இஸ் தே டூ சம் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் ஜெனடிக்கல் ஆல்ட்ரேஷன்ஸ் இன் சைட் த பாடி ஸோ தட் தே ஆர் வெரி குட் கேலிபர்ட் uh human beings genetically what all changes can be done to have make a person healthier lifestyle so that is human genetic modifications are going neuro engineering there is a neuro engineering studying about the brain cells and identifying about the concepts technologies how a brain cell works what are the concept that works there and how a brain is normally functioning that all could be done with the help of neuro engineering and if you have any clots or any problem in the brain region that will be supported by the neuro engineering technology
எப்படி அந்த சூழ்நிலைக்கு தகுந்த மாதிரி நம்ம மாற்றுறோம் ஸோ இந்த சேஞ்சிங் அண்ட் அடாப்டிங் ஆஃப் த பிரெயின் அதுதான் நியூரோ பிளாஸ்டிசிட்டி அந்த நியூரோ பிளாஸ்டிசிட்டிலேயே பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ரெண்டு விதமான பிளாஸ்டிசிட்டி இருக்கு ஒன்று ஸ்ட்ரக்சரல் இன்னொன்று ஃபங்க்ஷனல் ஸ்ட்ரக்சரல் அப்படின்னு எடுத்துக்கிட்டீங்கன்னா நம்ம மெமரிஸ் நம்ம உடம்பு நம்ம பத்து நாள் படிச்சுட்டு பதினோராவது ஞாபகமா எழுதணும் அப்படின்னா ஸ்ட்ரக்சரல் பிளாஸ்டிசிட்டி அடுத்தது பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஃபங்க்ஷனல் பிளாஸ்டிசிட்டி இப்போ ஒரு பகுதியில் அடிபட்டு அந்த இடத்துல செயல் எழுந்துருச்சுன்னா இந்த மெமரி அந்த பக்கம் லொக்கேஷன் கொண்டு போயிடுவாங்க பிரெயின் ஃபங்க்ஷனை வந்து மூவ் பண்ணுறது டேமேஜ் ஏரியாலேருந்து அன்டேமேஜ் ஏரியாவுக்கு கொண்டு போகிறது அது எபிலிட்டி டு சேஞ்ச் அண்ட் அடாப்ட் தட் இஸ் வாட் இஸ் கால்டஸ் நியூரோ பிளாஸ்டிசிட்டி அண்ட் பிரெயின் ஃபிட்னஸ் திஸ் இஸ் அ பியூட்டிஃபுல் இனோவேஷன் நெக்ஸ்ட் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா இப்போ எங்கே மெடிக்கல் போனீங்கனாலும் யூ ஹாவ் ஸ்கேனிங் ஸ்கேனிங் பண்ணணும் ஸ்கேன் பண்ணால் தான் தெரியும் அப்படின்னா ஆனால் அது ரொம்ப அஃபோர்டபிள் கிடையாது ஆனால் ஒரு இன்னோவேஷன்ஸ் பண்ணியிருக்காங்க அதாவது ஃப்ளோரிடாவில் டாக்டர்ஸ் தே ஹவ் ஃபவுண்ட் அவுட் கிளினிக்கல் ட்ரையல் பண்ணி கண்டுபிடிச்சிட்டு இருக்காங்க தட் இஸ் அ மெடிக்கல் ஸ்கேனிங் வெரி சீப்பர் அண்ட் ஈஸியா தட் இஸ் கால்ட் ஜி இ ஸ்கேனர் அது வந்து பார்த்தீங்கன்னா இட் பிரிங்ஸ் அண்ட் அ வெரி சிடி ஸ்கேன் எக்ஸ்ரே எல்லாமே இட் கம்பைன் இட் டுகெதர் ஸோ இட் இஸ் டூயிங் ஈச் அண்ட் எவ்ரி பார்ட் ஆஃப் யுவர் பாடி Uh, head region till the toe region it scans everything and give you in a single scan result that is called as a ge scanner next the 3d bioprinters ungalku kelvi pottirpinga illaina unga miss solliranga illa ninga yaradho friends mooliyama kelvi pottirpinga that is organs kadikiradhu romba kashtam organ transplantation kaga neriya per kaathukittirukanga kidney kaga liver kaga appra vandittu pancreas kaga heart kaga neriya per அப்போ என்ன ஆகுதுன்னா இப்போ அந்த டிரான்ஸ்ஃபர்மேஷனுக்காக என்ன பண்ணுவாங்க டிரான்ஸ்பிளான்டேஷனுக்காக அனிமல்ஸை கொள்றாங்க பபூன்ஸை கொள்றாங்க மங்கிலேருந்து எடுத்து பண்றாங்க ஸோ நிறைய பண்ணும்போது நமக்கு வந்து லாஸஸ் தேர் அதாவது பயோ பயோலாஜிக்கல் லாஸ் கன்சர்வேஷன் லாஸ்டா தேர் நம்ம எதையோ ஒன்று அழிச்சு ஒன்று பண்ணுறோம் அது வேண்டாம் இனிமேல் அப்படி ஒரு சான்ஸ் வேண்டாம் நமக்கு காது கேட்கல காதில் ஏதாவது அடிபட்டுச்சு தலையில் தெர் ஆர் நவடேஸ் த்ரீ டி பயோ பிரிண்டர்ஸ் தே ஆர் ப்ரொடியூசிங் ஆர்கன்ஸ் so organs that look similar to that of the original thing so lens hand eye lens ears heart etc everything is produced so they are also similar to the original thing lively thing they function action everything is similar so that is the three that is one of the beautiful innovation now this is about a nano device so this is a beautiful technology that helps us to get rid of so many problems and a easy technology cheaper technology nowadays so the these devices are nano particles they are taken from a very nano means you know very well it is a very small quantity with the small quantity you can do a much lot of improvements in your body or engineering or whatever it is uh, for an example lightweight vehicles pannala adutha do vandu pathinga lightweight uh, uh, sports things adavadhu or bat with cricket bat eduthukonga adha nano technology la senjanga na romba light weight ah irukum romba fast ah adikalam vandu seekrama poidum ball kuda pathinga nano technology la panna romba easy ah irukum adutha pathinga medical point of view la pathinga ella medicines yum modhal ella eppina nama odambla pochina or 3 4 4 naal kapprana andha kaachalo talavaliyo nama vittu pogum ana ipo appadi illa neenga maathra saapta or 15 20 nimishathula ungalku relief kadikkad appadina enna kaaranam na modhala saapta irudhala pathinga cell oda veliya mat போய் வேலை செஞ்சுட்டு ஆனா இப்ப இருக்கிற மெடிசன் செல்லையும் தாண்டி அந்த மெம்பரைனை உதைச்சிட்டு உள்ள போய் உள்ள போய் டிஎன்ஏ லெவல்ல ஒர்க் பண்ணும் மாலிகூல்ஸ் லெவல்ல ஒர்க் பண்ணும்போது உங்களுக்கு ரிலீஃப் வந்து ரொம்ப சீக்கிரமா கிடைக்கும் அப்புறம் இந்த கேன்சர்ஸ் எல்லாம் பண்ணும்போது பாத்தீங்கன்னா கேன்சர் ட்ரீட்மெண்ட் கொடுக்கும்போது கீமோ தெரப்பி கொடுப்பாங்க ரேடியேஷன் தெரப்பி கொடுப்பாங்க அப்போ வலி வேதனை அதிகமா இருக்கும் நல்ல செல்ஸும் சேர்ந்து இறந்து போகும் பட் இந்த நானோ தெரப்பினால என்ன பண்ணுவாங்கன்னு பாத்தீங்கன்னா கீமோ தெரப்பி எல்லாம் கூட ரொம்ப ஈஸியா நல்ல கேன்சர் செல்ஸ மட்டும் அழிக்கும் மற்ற செல்ஸ் எல்லாம் அழிக்காது ஸோ தட் இஸ் அ வெரி பியூட்டிஃபுல் டெக்னாலஜி அண்ட் இந்த மாதிரி ரோபோஸ் இந்த இடத்துல பாத்தீங்கன்னா நான் ஒரு பிக்சர் காமிச்சிருக்கேன் ரோபோ இந்த ரோபோ என்ன பண்ணுவோம்னா மெடிசன் எடுத்துட்டு நேரா போய் அந்த இடத்துல மட்டும் வேலை செய்யும் ஸோ தட் இஸ் அ வெரி பியூட்டிஃபுல் டெக்னாலஜி நவ் தெர் இஸ் அ பேஸ் மேக்கர் ஹார்ட்ல வந்து பாத்தீங்கன்னா சைனோ ஆரிகுலார் நோடுன்னு ஒண்ணு இருக்கு அதாவது உங்களுக்கு நாலு டிவிஷன் இருக்கு ரெண்டு ஆரிகல் ரெண்டு வெண்ட்ரிகல் இருக்கும் ஃபோர் சேம்பர்ட் ஹார்ட் இதுல பாத்தீங்கன்னா ரைட் அண்ட் லெப்ட் ரெண்டு இருக்கும் ஸோ ஆரிக்கல் ஆரிக்கல்ல வந்து பாத்தீங்கன்னா ஒரு இடத்துல வந்து இதய துடிப்பு கிடைக்கும் தட் இஸ் கால்ட் சைனோ ஆரிகுலார் நோட் அது வந்து பேஸ் மேக்கர்னு சொல்லுவாங்க அந்த ஆரிகுலார் நோட் வேலை செய்யலன்னா அது ஆரிகுலர் நோட் வேலை செய்வீங்கன்னா நமக்கு ஹார்ட் ஃபங்க்ஷன் கம்மி ஆயிடும் அப்படி இருக்கும்போது இப்ப என்ன ஆகும்னா அது அந்த ஒண்ணுக்காக வந்து நம்ம வந்து இப்ப என்ன பண்றாங்க அந்த ப்ராப்ளம்
இன்ஜெக்ட் பண்ணிடுறாங்க இன்ஜெக்ட் பண்ணும்போது என்ன ஆகுதுன்னா ஃபிமோரல் வெயில் வழியா இன்ஜெக்ட் ஆகும் போது அது போய் அந்த இடத்துல உட்காந்து உங்களுக்கு பேஸ் மேக்கராக வேலை செய்ய ஆரம்பிச்சிடும் ஸோ திட் இஸ் மெடியானிக் மைக்ரா பேஸ் மேக்கர் ஸோ ஜீன் தெராபி அண்ட் பயோ சிஸ்டம்ஸ் ப்ரொடியூஸ் பண்றதுனால இன்னொரு பியூட்டிஃபுல்லான திங் என்னன்னு பார்த்தீங்கன்னா சிந்தட்டிக் மீட் சிந்தட்டிக் மீட் அப்படின்றது ஆர்டிபிஷியல் மீட் அதாவது அனிமல் செல்ஸ் டிஷ்யூஸ் செல்ஸ் எடுத்து அந்த செல்ஸ்ல இருந்து டிஷ்யூஸ் கொண்டு வந்து செல் டிஷ்யூல இருந்து மசில்ஸ் சென்டசைஸ் பண்றாங்க மசில்ஸ் சென்டசைஸ் பண்ணி அதுல இருந்து உங்களுக்கு மீட் ப்ரொடக்ஷனா மீட்டா சாப்பிட்றதுக்கு ஆர்டிபிஷியலா சிந்தட்டிக் மீட்ஸ கொடுக்குறாங்க அதே மாதிரி ஆர்டிபிஷியல் ஈஸ்ட் எல்லாம் போட்டு பீர் காஸ்மெட்டிக்ஸ் ட்ராக்ஸ் இதை ப்ரொடியூஸ் பண்றாங்க நெக்ஸ்ட் வந்து பாத்தீங்கன்னா டிஎன்ஏ வச்சு நிறைய நமக்கு டிஎன்ஏ தேவைப்படுது ஏன்னா அதுதானே பேசிக் திங் நமக்கு ஸோ டிஎன்ஏ ஸ்டோர் பண்றதுக்காக பயோ கம்ப்யூட்டிங் வித் பயோ டெக்னாலஜி தே ஆர் சிந்தசைசிங் டிஎன்ஏ அண்ட் தே ஆர் யூசிங் ஆஸ் அ டிஎன்ஏ ஸ்டோரேஜ் அண்ட் தெர் ஆர் மோர் மெம்பர் ஆஃப் டெக்னாலஜிஸ் கால் இஸ் பயோ தெராபி அதாவது ஹியூமன் ஹெல்த்துக்காக கேன்சர் ட்ரீட்மெண்ட்காக இன்ஃபெக்ஷஸ் டிசீஸ்க்காக சிங்கிள் செல் டிசார்டருக்காக இதுக்கு எல்லாருக்குமே பயோ தெராபி வந்திருக்கு தட் இஸ் ஆல்சோ அ கைண்ட் ஆஃப் அ நியூ இனோவேஷன் and by agriculture like uh, hybrid breedings madam morning or session la ma'am solirpanga hybrid technology adavadhu oru 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 techno oru oru nalla variety irukum innor variety la innor gunadisiyam nalla gunadisiyam irukku enakku inda rendume seindhu enakku venum appindra bodhu inda indil irundhu oru gene adhil irundhu oru gene eduthu rendu hybrid panni cross link panni adhil irundhu oru pudhu variety kandupidikkum bodhu oru en rendu oda character adhil irukum so that is called as breeding breeding of genetic engineering panpadathi farm animals ku seila plants ku seila சரி அடுத்தது பாத்தீங்கன்னா சிந்தடிக் பயாலஜின்னு சொல்லுவாங்க இது வந்து ஒரு பியூட்டிஃபுல் பிளாட்ஃபார்ம் எப்படின்னா செமி கண்டக்டர்ஸ் இங்க பாத்தீங்கன்னா சயின்ஸும் இருக்கும் பிசிக்ஸும் வரும் இங்க கெமிஸ்ட்ரியும் வருது நம்ம பயாலஜியும் வருது ஸோ எல்லாமே பாத்தீங்கன்னா காம்பினேஷன் தான் ஒரு சிங்கிள் சிம் சின்ன சிப்ல கம்ப்யூட்டர் சயின்ஸ் இங்க வந்துருது ஆர்டிபிஷியல் இன்டெலிஜென்ஸ் இங்க வருது அப்படின்னா ஒரு சிங்கிள் சிப்ல நீங்க டிஎன்ஏ சப்ளைஸ் பண்ணி அது ஒரு செமி கண்டக்டரா எடுத்து அதை நீங்க ஆட் ஆன் பண்ணிக்கலாம் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் ஆக்சுவலி இந்த மாதிரி ஒரு புது டெக்னாலஜி நம்ம சயின்ஸ் ஸோ இப்போ மட்டும் நீங்க பார்த்தது எல்லாமே இட்ஸ் அ கைண்ட் ஆஃப் அ மேஜிக் இஸ் இட் இட் ஆர் நாட் ஸோ ஸோ சோ மெனி திங்ஸ் இன்னொரு பியூட்டிஃபுல்லான விஷயம் என்னன்னு பார்த்தீங்கன்னா தெராபி ட்ரீட்மெண்ட்ஸ் அதாவது கொடுமையான வியாதிகள்னு சொல்லுவாங்க தட் இஸ் ரொம்ப பார்க்கவே கஷ்டமா இருக்கும் அந்த மாதிரி செரிபிரல் அடினோலுக்கோடிஸ்ட்ராஃபி சிக்கல் செல் டிசீஸ் தால்சலிமியா அப்புறம் மைலோமா கேன்சர் இந்த மாதிரி நிறைய கேன்சருக்கு ஜீன்ஸ் மூலியமா வி ஆர் கிவிங் தெராபிஸ் ஸோ திட் இஸ் ஆல்சோ ஒண்டர்ஃபுல் மேஜிக் தட் இஸ் டான் வித் ஹெல்ப் ஆஃப் சயின்ஸ் அண்ட் முதல்ல எல்லாம் பிளட் எடுத்து செல் எடுத்து கண்டுபிடிச்சிட்டு இருந்தாங்க டிடக்ஷன் அண்ட் ப்ரிவென்ஷன் ஆஃப் கேன்சர்ஸ் பட் நவ் ஈவன் தி ஸ்டூல் ஃபீக்கல் மேட்டர் அதுல இருந்து எடுத்து டிஎன்ஏவை பார்த்து நம்மளுக்கு ட்ரீட்மெண்ட் கொடுக்குறாங்க நவ் அடுத்தது பாத்தீங்கன்னா ஆன்டி பாடியும் ட்ரக்கையும் சேர்த்து நம்ம உடம்புக்குள்ள போட்டுருவாங்க ஸோ ஒரு தடவை இன்ஜெக்ஷன் பண்ணாவே நம்ம அது லைஃப் லாங் ஒரு ட்ரீட்மெண்ட்டா போயிட்டே இருக்கும் ஒவ்வொரு தடவையும் இன்ஜெக்ஷன் பண்ண வேண்டாம் அதே மாதிரி சுகர் என்ஜினியரிங் ஆன்டிபாடி ஃபார் தி சுகர் பேஷன்ஸ் ஆல் திஸ் கேன் பி டான் வித் ஹெல்ப் ஆஃப் இனோவேஷன்ஸ் அண்ட் டெக்னாலஜிஸ் நவ் ஃபர்மெண்டேஷன் அண்ட் சிந்தடிக் பயாலஜி மூலியமா ஃபுட் சிந்தசைஸ் பண்ணும்போது டென் டைம்ஸ் சீப்பராக இருக்கும் பெட்டராக இருக்கும் அதே மாதிரி பார்த்தீங்கன்னா பயோ டெக்னாலஜி கம்பெனிஸ்ல இருந்து பார்த்தீங்கன்னா பயோ மெட்டீரியல்ஸ் அதாவது ஸ்கிராச் ப்ரூஃபிங் கோட்டிங் ட்ரெஸ் மெட்டீரியல்ஸ் துவைக்க வேண்டாம் மலையில நினைஞ்சாலும் நினையாது ஓகே கசக்க வேண்டாம் அழுக்கு படியாது ஸோ அந்த மாதிரி நிறைய டெக்னாலஜி பயோடெக் கம்பெனிஸ் வந்து கண்டுபிடிச்சிருக்காங்க அண்ட் தென் ஒரு மாய்ஸ்டரிங் ஆயில் அதை வந்து ஷார்க்ல இருந்து தான் எடுக்க முடியும் ஆனால் அதுக்காக ஷார்க்கை கொல்லணும் இப்போ எனக்கு ஷார்க்கை கொல்ல வேண்டாம் அப்படின்ற போது ஸ்கின் கேர் ப்ராடக்ட்டுக்கு மாய்ஸ்டரிங் ஆயில் நான் பண்ணணும் அப்படின்னா அதை ஈஸ்ட்லேருந்து நான் தயாரிக்கிறேன் ஸ்குவாலேன் அப்படின்ற ஒரு மாய்ஸ்டரிங் ஆயிலை ஜெனட்டிக்கலாக ஈஸ்ட்லேருந்தே தயாரிக்கலாம் ஈஸ்ட் கேன் பி கல்ச்சர்ட் வெரி ஈஸிலி ரேதர் தேன் கில்லிங் த வேல் அண்ட் டேக்கிங் த ஆயில் நாவ் வயல பர்சனலாக நியூட்ரிஷன் நான் சொன்னேன் இல்லையா ஹியூமன் ஜீனோம் ப்ராஜெக்ட் பண்ணிட்டு இருக்காங்கன்னா அந்த மாதிரி ப்ராஜெக்ட்ஸ் பண்ணுறதுல பர்சனலாக ஒவ்வொருத்தருக்கும் என்னென்ன தேவைப்படுது என்னென்ன ஜீன்ஸ் இருக்குது அவங்களுக்கு என்ன மாதிரி நியூட்ரிஷன் இருக்கணும் என்ன மாதிரி ஃபுட்டு கொடுக்கணும் இது எல்லாமே வந்து ஹியர் ஆஃப்டர் இன் ஃபியூச்சர் இட் கேன் பி டன் அண்ட் தென் தெர் ஆர் பயாலாஜிக்கல் டேட்டா பேங்க் ஸ்டெம் பேங்க் ஜீன் பேங்க் அப்படின்ற போது பயாலாஜ
அதுக்கப்புறம் நீங்க அதை சாப்பிட்டுட்டு நீங்க ஒரு ட்ராக் சூட் போட்டுட்டு விளையாட போறீங்க இல்லைன்னா போறீங்க அப்படின்ற போது அந்த ட்ராக் சூட் அப்படின்றது எல்லாமே பயோசென்டிக்கா இருக்கும் ஸோ இட் இஸ் மேட் ஃப்ரம் ஃபைபர்ஸ் அண்ட் செல்ஃப் ரிப்பேர் அதான் நான் சொன்ன பார்த்தீங்கன்னா கசங்காது துவைக்க வேண்டாம் வேர்க்காது எதுவுமே பண்ண வேண்டாம் பயோசென்டிக் ட்ராக்ஸ் அதுல இருந்து கிளம்பி நீங்க ஜிம்முக்கு போறீங்க அப்படின்ற போது அந்த ஃபியூயல் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா பயோ ஃபியூயல் அதை வந்து ஒரு பயோ மைக்ரோப்ஸ்ல இருந்து தயாரிச்சிருக்கலாம் அதுக்கப்புறம் எல்லாம் முடிச்சுட்டீங்க எக்ஸசைஸ் எல்லாம் பண்ணிட்டு திரும்பி வந்து குளிச்சு கிளம்பும் போது ஒரு கிரீம் போடுறீங்க தட் இஸ் ஆன்டி ஏஜிங் கிரீம் தட் இஸ் ஆல்சோ அ பயோலாஜிக்கல் சிந்தசைஸ் அதுக்கப்புறம் வேலைக்கு போறீங்க ஃபுல்லா ஒர்க் பண்ணிட்டு இருக்கீங்க டென்ஷன் ஆகுது அப்படின்ற போது ஒரு ஹெட்செட் போடுறீங்க அந்த ஹெட்செட் போட்டானா என்னாகும் உங்க ஸ்ட்ரெஸ் எல்லாம் ரிலீவ் பண்ணும் உங்க பிரெயின் வேவ்ஸ் எல்லாம் மாத்தி கொடுக்கும் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் நியூ இன்னோவேஷன் லைக் தட் இயர் ஆஃப்டர் இன் த கம்மிங் ஜெனரா பாத்தீங்கன்னா எல்லாமே டேட்டா சயின்ஸ் எவ்ரி திங் இஸ் பேஸ்ட் ஆன் த டேட்டா சயின்ஸ் எவ்ரி திங் இஸ் ரிலேட்டட் டு சாஃப்ட்வேர் எவ்ரி திங் யூ ஹாவ் டு ஹாவ் அ ஸ்பெஷாலிட்டி ஸ்கில் தட் இஸ் பேஸ்ட் ஆன் ஜினாமிக்ஸ் மாலிகுல்ஸ் பயோகெமிஸ்ட்ரி எவ்ரி திங் இஸ் இன்டர் ரிலேட்டட் so you are merging everything with the digital skills and it is a very big skill in a potential combination so when you bring into a potent combination you will make new things that will help you to drive faster and cheaper and they will create a better performance and all will be of superior characteristics so that characteristic superior characteristics products will be added value products and that will be helping in good service to the end of the customers so to save the world upcoming year you will be actually becoming into a organized humanity by confronting several more major challenges and for that you should escape the dark abyss now that we are going through and one the products of biological evolutions will be able to control it in your further destiny we are life sciences so i would like to end by saying a quote that science is a key to our future and if you don't believe in science then you are holding everybody's back thank you so much i think you now understand the magic of science thank you thank you little friends thank you thank you thanks. dr dan lakshmi now thank the session is open for questions thank you ma'am Thank you ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Now you can put the questions in the chat box. Thank you. Ms. Can you please answer the question? One minute. Thank you ma'am. Thank you. You can be create an organism out of a single parent or endangered species. No, it can be. With a single parent, you can't create an organism. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. 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 Okay. Thank you. How 3D bioprinters work? Yes. Uh, it is actually a biological product. And it will be similar to the lively uh, organism or mechi here. So it works very well. And it is on the way of innovation and it's still on the experimental condition. Thank you, ma'am. Does each and every object in the world has science behind? Yes, of course. Each and everything, every object that you come across are at the end of science. Everything. See, uh, now I'm talking to you and you are listening to it. There is a science. But every science is not a single science. It is a combination of science. Data science. Data science. That is, data science is nothing but the uh, information that are put together into a single format. That is called. uh the dna chip works in a very proper manner because it is a combination of physics chemistry physical science chemical science and biological science it is working at a very good level uh a very good question does humanity have a future beyond it uh hope so hope so uh, we can keep this question uh, uh for the future still is a very big question mark again uh it is uh, the pacemaker support in the oracle oracle upper part of the heart which bio system you are asking
actually uh, uh, this rna uh, helps you to synthesize proteins while you analyze the rna you will able to know what all the amino acids how the prna rrna mrna converts into codons and how it produces amino acids all that will be understood while you do for rna analysis um dna fingerprinting actually they collect the samples they can collect the samples from the spot if uh, if any place the crime has happened they collect any of the either the hair or the uh, blood sample or a semen sample whatever it is there they and to take the sample and they bring it to the lab and they analyze it they will find out the dna and with the dna with the sequence gene sequence they will be able to find out the crime crime uh stem cell treatment is actually, actually when you talk about stem cells stem cells are pluripotent okay they are pluripotent uh when they are produced in the bone marrow nama odamla irukkira bone marrow la da and stem cells produce up abbi produce agra cells vande uruvaagum bodu adu edukaga uruvaagudhu enna panna povudhu nu adukku theriyadhu aana adu uruvaana edathil irundhu veliya vande endha edathukku pogudho andha edathil adoda tanmaya maatikku so they are pluripotent எடுத்துக்கு தகுந்த மாதிரி தே சேஞ்ச் தேம் செல்ஃப் டோட்டி பட்டன்ட்டா மாறிடும் மாறி இப்ப ஃபார் அன் எக்ஸாம்பிள் எனக்கு கண்ணுல ஒரு பிரச்சனை அந்த கண்ணு பிரச்சனைக்கு எனக்கு அங்க ஒரு ஸ்டெம் செல்ஸ் போட்டா இந்த ஸ்டெம் செல்ஸ் ஸ்டெம் செல்லா தான் இருக்கும் ஆனா அந்த கண்ணு கிட்ட நான் இன்சர்ட் பண்ணும்போது அந்த கண்ணுக்கு தேவையான செல்லா மாறும் அப்ப எனக்கு அந்த பிரச்சனை குணப்படுத்தப்படும் ஸோ சோ இட் சேஞ்சஸ் தெம் செல்ஃப் தேர் கேரக்டர்ஸ் சேஞ்சஸ் வென் தே கம் டு தர்டிகுலர் பாயிண்ட் வேர் த ஒர்க் ஹேஸ் டு பி த Okay, thank you, Doctor Dhan Lakshmi. Thank you. Now we are all moving on to the next event of the department quiz. Now the link will be shared in the chat box. So you can do the quiz.
Participants, please mute your audio. Good afternoon, students. Welcome back to the meet. Now we'll move on to the session Good four. Morning. Now I invite Dr. A. Francina Shalini, Assistant Professor, Department of Mathematics, to give a talk on the topic Smart Maths. Shalini, over to you. Thank you, ma'am. <coughs> So now let's let's start the session. Uh, in this session, we are going to see about the smart max. So what is smart max? In smart max today, we are going to see about Vedic mathematics. So now, uh, children, what is Vedic mathematics? So you would have heard the name Vedic mathematics. Uh, Vedas, you know the four Vedas: Rig, Yajur, Sama, Atharva. Okay. Now this Vedic mathematics is nothing but it is an ancient trick <clears throat> and a technique used for solving the automatic operators, okay, efficiently and easily. All right. Uh, so this, the father of Vedic mathematics is uh, Bharati Krishna Tirtha Ji. This person is the father of Vedic mathematics. You can see him there, and he discovered all the sixteen sutras, thirteen sub sutras in the period nineteen eleven and nineteen eighteen. <clears throat> He's published a book on Vedic mathematics. But since uh, Veda, Vedic means, you know, it is knowledge. But here, uh, since we speak about Rig Veda, Yajur, Yama, Sama, and Atharva, this uh, Vedic mathematics is basically from the Atharva Veda. But still, it is not confined to any religion. It is secular. So any person in the world, you can use this Vedic mathematics. Now, children, you might question me, but why don't we learn Vedic mathematics in our schools, isn't it? So the reason behind this is, Vedic, you know, Vedic mathematics, uh, as I told you all, it is an easy way to do addition, multiplication, division, and subtraction. But each, there are different methods. So uh, for each number, that is a set of numbers, hold certain rules, or different types of multiplication. So finally, it will lead to confusion. That is the limitation of Vedic mathematics. But other than that, Vedic mathematics is a subject which is very much interesting for all the children about eight years. And it is very useful for the <clears throat> students who appear for all these uh, exams, the UPSC exam. There they can use the skill and do the addition and multiplication very much easier. Okay. Now, why do we use this Vedic mathematics in this highly advanced era? That is, it is a time saver. Okay, because you do it faster, it enhances your concentration. It is the one line answer is the glory of this method. Okay, and logical thinking will get developed. 
but all these things can't be developed in one night's time you need to work over it day and night you need to work over this vedic mathematics again and again so that you become master of it and finally all these four points are achieved that is it saves your time it enhances your concentration and one line answer is very easy to do sums and the logical thinking so all this will be helpful for you in your future when you face all the different types of government exams so without more delay okay <clears throat> you might be interested in do in problems more so let me go on to the multiplication process so first we are moving on to 94 into 95 multiply numbers between 90 and 100 okay now the first trick here is see 94 minus 100 easiest number of multiplication so uh, subtraction so it is minus 6 likewise 95 minus 100 is minus 5 okay that this is the first step then the second one is you're multiplying this minus 6 and minus 5 you are getting 30 okay now the second step here is 94 minus this 5 why minus 5 because this is a negative integer so you are subtracting 94 minus 5 it is 89 and again 95 is our second number which we need to multiply so 95 minus this answer minus 6 so it is 89 so the answer for this 94 into 95 is you combine this 89 and 30 and it is 8900 <coughs> hope you understood okay so another problem for you so now 90 into 86 i said the numbers between 90 and 100 here but now you're going to see another set miscellaneous so 90 into 86 again here 90 minus 100 is minus 10 and 86 minus 100 is minus 14 okay you're going to multiply this minus 10 with this minus 14 and you will get 140 it is a three digit number please note it down there now again the same rule so 90 <coughs> minus 14 it is 76 and 86 minus 10 is 76 so this number has to be the same okay now here you are you are using here uh, so 94 into 95 is you're writing down the answer 76 and 140 so here the, it, it has to be a two digit number so four zero you're keeping aside and six plus one is seven so seven thousand seven forty is the answer okay but it has to be a two digit number so you are writing it as zero nine all right then the same way that is 91 minus one is 90 and 99 minus nine is again 90 you are bringing these two digits together so it is 9009 this is the answer hope this is easy for you this way of multiplication of numbers okay you might question me ma'am can we do it for all the numbers yeah you can do it but the reason is when you subtract digits here of lesser number then this number becomes even more bigger only when it is a single digit number your multiplication here becomes easier so there are other methods to multiply the other numbers okay so the numbers which lie between 90 to 100 and 100 to 110 we just now saw so you can try this at home and your answer has to be for <clears throat> 97 into 92 is 8924 that is 8924 okay now here so we are going to find out for numbers between 100 and 110 so 100 and 110 so i'm taking here 105 into 104 all right so 105 minus 104 is 5 it is a positive number now again 104 minus 100 it is 4 now you're multiplying this 5 into 4 it is 20 it's a same procedure all right so now this 105 what we did earlier one minute so now you are just uh, 105 plus 4 it is 109 and 104 plus 5 it is 109 okay so now why why do we add here because it is a positive number here and here you are adding it here but whereas in the sums earlier it was a negative number so we subtracted so the answer is 
10, 109, I'm writing it here, and this 20, I'm bringing it here. So it is 10,920 is the answer. Okay. Now we'll go on to the next. So if you have any doubt in between, just stop and ask me. Okay. Now 102, 102. Okay. So now 108 into 102. 108 minus 100 is 8. 102 minus 100 is 2. So 8 twos are 16. You're writing 16 here. Then 108 plus this 2 is 110. And 102 plus this 8 is again 110. So you're combining these two numbers and you're writing the answer here as 11016. Okay. Got it? Likewise for 103 and 107. Okay. Now here 103 minus 100 is 3. 107 minus 100 is 7. 7 threes are 21. 103 plus 110. 107 plus 3. Again 110. So you're combining these two and you're getting uh, these two and you're getting 1102. 11,021 is the answer. So this is one trick. Okay. <laughs> the next one now trick to multiply complementary pair is trick two which you're going to learn today okay so complementary pair you would have heard the word complementary in marks but here what we're doing is any number which you add up you get, get 10 100 000, you say complement now the complements, we are, uh, i'm just keeping because i'll teach you later the procedure okay here so the complement of 10 for the number 8 is minus 2 for number 9 is minus 1 so lesser than 10 minus Above less than 100, again it is minus. Above 100, it will be plus. So here, the complement of 1000, 1002, it is plus 2 and plus 4. Okay. Multiplying of this. Now here you see 23 into 27. Why do we say it is complement? That is 3 into 7. 7 plus 3, it holds on to be 10. So it is a complement. But how to do this way? The trick, the, it was written there but here i just tell you how to do seven threes are 21 i write 21 okay and this you have to check whether the tens digit here it is two and here also it has to be two then only this trick will apply you got it so now children two into the next higher digit is three okay so two into two you have to do it is six okay so that is six twenty one is the answer it is as simple as that. You are multiplying the ones digit. You are writing it down. And then you are checking whether these two whole are the same numbers. You are multiplying this with the next higher digit. And you are taking it at 6. And 621 is the answer. Okay. So now for you to try, you are doing the other sums here. Now here you see the ones digit I'm adding. 8 plus 2, 10. 3 plus 7, 4 plus 6. Everything goes to be the same. Okay. So now you can do easily. A twos are sixteen. Four into five is twenty. Okay. So here this is very simple. Twenty, twenty, and then twenty-one. Okay. Twenty six fours are twenty-four. Okay. So here you can do six fives are thirty. Five six fours are twenty-four. Okay. Seven six are forty-two, and six fours are twenty-four. Okay. Now here, 1 into 9 is 9, but it has to be a two-digit number. As I said earlier, you are writing 0, 9. Now 7, 6 are 42. So this is the answer. Okay. Now here, it's a three-digit number. All right. You needn't worry. Again, again, if you check this, it is 1 into 9 is 10. And 11 and 11 are same. So 11 into the next higher digit. So 11 into 12. is It is 132. All right. So now here, the answer is 132. And 1 into 9, it is 0, 9. Okay? So this is the answer for these type of complementary problems. Right? Now, we will go on to the vertical and crosswise method of multiplication. So this is the third method of multiplication, which you're going to think of. So this method is applicable for any two-digit number into a two-digit number. Now, I'll switch off your uh, audio. A disturbance here. So now see, vertical and crosswise. Thank you so much. So vertical and crosswise. So first vertical. So 7 threes are 21. Okay. Now I keep this 
one here and I carry over this two to the next one. Next one, it is cross multiplication. So seven fives are 35 uh, plus four threes are plus 12 and plus this two, okay? So 47 plus two, 49, okay? I keep this nine here I carry this four this side and the third step is you are vertically multiplying these two. So 20 plus four is 24, okay? So the answer you will write from the right hand side. So your answer will be 24. This digit 9 and here the left out digit 1. So the answer is 2491. This is a multiplication of a two digit number with a two digit number. Okay. You can do for any numbers. All right. Next we will do for a three digit number into a three digit number but here you have five steps see first this one vertical then these two digits cross multiplication then all the three di digits you are taking you're multiplying the last two uh, ones and hundreds and then you are vertically multiplying this and here the the, um, the left the tens and the hundreds you are multiplying cross multiplication and again it is here it is vertically multiplication. Okay, now we will do this. So it is three twos are six. I keep six as such. Okay, now I come here. Four twos are eight plus three ones are three. Eleven. Okay, I keep one here. I bring this one here, children. Okay, now I'm multiplying these two. Five twos are ten plus three twos are six plus four ones are four. Okay, and this one has to come here. Okay, so 10, 20, 21. So 1, I keep your children and I bring this 2 here. Okay, so 1 into 5 is 5 plus 4 twos are 8. And plus this 2 which we carried over. So 10 plus 5, 5, I keep your children, bring this 1 here. So it is 10 plus 1, that is Oh, sorry, 15, 5 here, 10 plus 1 is, uh, yeah, 11, okay? So now the answer is, I write 11 first, okay? Since I told you all, this answer, you have to write it from the right-hand side, 11. And then what number is left out here? 5. What is the next number here? 1. The next one is 1. And the final last one is 6. So this is the answer. Four, 543 into 212. It is 115116. Okay. 1 lakh 15,116 is the answer. So you can take any three digit number, but you have to remember these steps. So this step is very, very important, but you will get used to it if you do it daily. Okay. So it is easier and you can do the answer. Now, now you might ask me a question, how to multiply a three digit number with a two digit number? In that case, children, what you have to do is you just have to add a zero here, okay, to that two digit number. Before that, you will put a zero and the same procedure you will carry on, okay? So five fours are 20, I keep zero here, I take this two here, five threes are 15 plus 28 plus two, 45, I keep 5 here, I take this 4, 0 plus 16 plus 21 plus 4, so it is 41, I keep this 1 here, I bring this 4 here, so it is 0 plus 12 plus 4, 16, I keep 6 here, I bring this 1 here, 0 plus 1 is Okay, so I write one, six, one, five, and zero. So this is the answer. 16,150 is the answer. Okay, got it, children. Now we will go on to the next one. Yes, ma'am. Yes, all right. Now line addition trick. So if you have addition, line, see, vertically you have numbers. Now how to add it, okay? Now the trick here is children, you can add these two numbers. Oh, wait, I just changed the color. I think this, able to see this color? Okay. You're going to add this, so it is nine. Now the trick is children, nine, are you able to see? Okay, it has to be less than 
If it is less than 10, you will just leave it, okay? If it is greater than 10, here I have changed the color, but now I'm going to circle it for you, all right? So it is less than 10 here. I'm adding these two, it is nine, so I'm just leaving this. Now I'm going to add this nine with five. So nine with five, 14. This is greater than 10, so I circle this one, okay? Immediately the next step is 14 minus 10, it is four, okay? Now I add this nine with four. So nine plus four is 13. Now 13 is greater than 10. So minus 10, I'm doing here three. So it is since it is greater, immediately I'm circling this number, okay? Three. So I'm now adding the seven with this three. It is 10 again. It has to be either greater than or equal to 10. So it is 10. So again, I'm circling this number. Here in the PowerPoint, I've given a different color, but for your understanding, I'm just circling it, okay? 10 minus 10 is zero, all right, children? Now you are adding this one plus zero, one, okay? And then two plus one, three. Four plus three, seven. I'm not circling these numbers, why? Because it is not either 10 or above 10, okay? Now I'm going to add this. So this is uh, 8 plus 7, it is 15, okay? Now what I do, this one digit 5 comes down here. You just leave, don't worry about this 10 digit, okay? So 5 comes down here. And the, I forgot to do one thing. See, I have to circle because it is greater than 10. So I'm circling it here, all right? Now what is my next digit is, you're going to count how many you have circled. 1, 2, 3, and 4. So that 4 comes here, and that is your answer. Is that clear? So we will do another sum for your clear, so that you understand it clearly. Now here, see, 8 plus 3, 11. So 11 is greater than 10. So I circle this children. Immediately what I have to do, I have to subtract this with 10, 1. So next step, I'm adding this 8, okay? But it is lesser than 10, I'm not doing anything. Next, I'm adding 8 plus 6. 14, it is greater than 10. So 14 minus 10 is 4. I'm circling this, okay? And then 5 plus 4, it is 9. And this 9, I'm writing it here, okay? Now, how many I have circled? 1 and 2. So 29 is the answer. You got it? So for as many number of uh, numbers, that is for a single line, you can do this addition. Okay, you can try for here, 6 plus 4, 10, 10 minus 10, 0, so you circle this, 9 plus 0, 9, 9 plus 4, you needn't circle because it is 9 only, less than 10, 13, 13 minus 10 is 3, it is more, it is above 10, so I circle this, okay, 3 plus 2 is 5, so I bring this 5 down, and I'm just checking how many I've circled. One and two. So 25 is the answer. Okay. Now we will go for line addition trick for a two-digit number. Now see, the same procedure here, but a slight variation. Six plus one, seven. Okay. It is less than 10. We just leave it. And seven plus four. It is 11. So I circle this. 11 minus 10, it is one. Okay, children. I'm adding this. 8, 8 plus 5, it is 13, again this is greater than 10, so I circle this, 13 minus 10 is 3, I add this with this 2, 5, and I add 5 with this 3, and it is 8, and I bring this 8 here, okay, so 8 is over. Now I come to this side, left hand side. 8 plus 3. 8 plus 3 is 11. Again, this is greater than 10. So I circle this, okay? 11 minus 10 is 1. I add these two numbers. 8. 8 plus 2 is 10. So again, I circle this. 10 minus 10 is 0. So 0 plus 1, 1. 1 plus 4, 5. 5 plus 2 is 7. I write the 7 here. Now you have to listen because you are well versed this addition now. But now how to finish this? That is, this, the number which comes about, this is your answer. Seven. Now you are coming on to your right hand side. Now see how many you have circled? One and two. 
So seven, eight, and nine. So you're just adding the circled numbers, and seven plus two is nine, and that nine comes here. Okay. So you are done with your right hand side addition. Now come on to the left hand side. There you are going to check how many you have circled. One, two. So two numbers you have circled. So you are putting two, and your answer is two. Okay. Children, kindly mute your audio. So it is two ninety eight is the answer. Okay. So I hope this is an easy method. You got it. So here. Some sums for you to check. All right, I just teach you this one sum. Okay, nine plus one, ten. It is ten, so I circle this. Ten minus ten is zero. Seven plus zero is seven. Seven plus three is ten. Okay, so I circle this and I put the zero here. Okay, you will just omit this one. Okay, now come here. Eight plus two is ten. Ten minus ten is zero. Zero plus six is now. I have to circle this. Okay, zero plus six is six. Six plus four is ten. Okay, now I'm circling this. Okay, now here right hand side I've circled the two digits. Okay, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, now here it is twelve. So you are you will write only the ones digit. I'm putting this two here. Okay, you will just leave this one. These are the tricks, children. So now here you will see what are the numbers which we have circled one. And two. So this two comes here. This is how you have to do. Is that clear? Okay. Now, yes, okay. Yes, so now, all right. Good. So now you can try this. You can write your own numbers at home, children, and you can just try it and see. When you practice, then it becomes even more easier. All right. So you can do this here. Six plus two. It is eight, and then eight is less than ten. Eight plus four is twelve. So you circle this. Twelve minus ten is two, and three plus two is five. So this five comes here. Okay. Now I'm coming to this side. Fifteen seven plus eight. So fifteen is greater than ten. So I circle this five. Five plus five is again ten. I circle this. Ten as three, and here how many numbers I have circled? Okay, this is the third method of. I mean, this is the second method in addition. Okay, now square any number. A fast trick to square any number with base ten. Okay, now how to do? Seventeen minus ten is seven. All right, this is the first step. Second step, you are going to add the seventeen with this seven. You will get twenty-four. This is the second step. Third step, seven squared. That is forty-nine. This is the third step. Okay. When it is a base ten, you have to write this number after two digits. Okay, so forty nine, and you are adding that, and that gives the answer. Okay, now we will see for some other numbers. Eighteen squared and twelve squared. Eighteen squared. The base is ten, so eighteen minus ten is eight. So I'm have to. That is the first step, subtraction, then addition. Eighteen plus eight, twenty six, and then eight squared, sixty four. It has. To To be written here, since it's base ten, it has to be written after the two digit. Now you are adding that, and it is three twenty four. Now here to come to this twelve square. See, twelve minus two, twelve minus ten is two, uh, and then twelve plus two is fourteen. Two square now comes here. Two square is four, but it has to be a two digit number. So as I told earlier, you are putting zero before, and now adding this children, you are getting one four four. Now what, ma'am? What about a three-digit number? Let's see for base hundred. Now when the base is hundred, one twenty minus if it is one twenty. So one twenty, same procedure. One twenty minus hundred, twenty. You are adding this one twenty plus twenty, one forty. Twenty squared, four hundred. Now since its base is hundred, after the three digit, you are writing this hundredth one. Okay, all right. So now one four four zero. All right. Now. Now here sums for you to work out one uh, forty squared and one eighty squared. See one forty minus hundred is forty. One forty plus forty is one eighty. 
40 squared, it is 1,600. Now see children, this 100th term, 600 must come here. This is the point here, which you have to remember, okay? You have to add this and find. Likewise here, 180 minus 100 is 80. 180 plus 80 is 260. 80 squared, 6400. You're adding this and you're getting the answer, okay? Now perfect squares of numbers... This one is the same like which we saw earlier in the second method. See, same message, and same rule. That is 5 into 5, 25. 3 and 3 are same. So 3 into the higher number, 4 threes are 12. So 12, 25. 1,225 is the answer. Okay. This is like the first method, but it is a, it is a perfect square and the number ending with 5. Okay. For those numbers also, this method of multiplication is applicable. All right. Now see 45 into 45, 75 into 75, the same thing. 5 5s are 25, 5 4s are 20. Here again, 5 5s are 25, 8 6 are 56. Okay. Now the next one, uh, cube of a number. This is quite interesting, children, to find the cube of a number. Any number you take, you can find the cube. But what is the trick here? See, you are you are right 12 cube. I'm just uh, starting with a simple number, 12 cube. I'm just writing, you see how you have to first split and write. I'm writing this one, two, two squared, and two cube, since we are going to find the cube, okay? Don't ask ma'am for 12 power 4, what that, that trick is another trick. Only this is for a cube of a number, okay? So now one, two, two squared is four, and two cube is eight, okay? I'm writing this same here, okay? Now the sec this is the first step. Now the second step is the second number, this second number and the third number has to be multiplied with this two, okay? This is the rule for all the numbers, children. Okay? So now if you multiply this with two, four twos are eight and two twos are four, okay? I've written it here. This is the second step. Now what you have to do is ordinary addition. As simple as that. See, eight. 8, 8 plus 4, 2 plus 4, 1, okay? So 8 comes here. I'm just writing it again, 8. 8 plus 4 is 12. 2 I write here. I carry over 1. So 4, 6 plus 1, 7, 1, 7, 2, 8, 000, 7, 28 is the answer, okay? Now, hope you're listening, children. So now 13 cube. So for 13 cube and 14 cube, okay? So now let us see for 13 cube, okay? So you can do at home 14 cube or any higher numbers and you can check. 1, 3, 3 squared, 3 cube, okay? So 1, 3, 3 squared, 3 squared is 9, 3 cube is 27. My second rule, what I said, you have to multiply the second number and the third number with 2. So 3 twos are 6, 9 twos are 18. The third rule, just addition. So 27. 9 plus 18, 6 plus 3, all right? So 27, I'm writing it here. I'm just adding this again separately, okay, for clearance. So here just 27, again, 9 and 1. Now what happens here? Please listen, children. This 7, I'm writing it here. This 2, I'm adding it with this number, okay? 7 plus 2, 9. 9 plus 2, 11. And I'm putting 1 here, carrying over this 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Okay, now the, the rule is the same here. Just let us see this, okay? Four comes here. Eight plus four is 14. I write four here. I carry over one. Four plus two, six. Six plus one is seven. And this one plus one, you add it and you write two. So this is the cube. So how to find the cube of a number, okay? Now, cube root. So, this is a fast trick, children. But here, you might ask me whether the cube root of all numbers lie like the same trick. No. Only for certain numbers. That is only for integers, this trick holds true. For other numbers, uh, we have to use some, more, some other technique. Okay. Now, just listen this technique. Okay. For this, you must know the cube of all the numbers till 10 cube. Now, see, 1 cube, 1. 2 cube is 8. 3 cube is 27. 4 cube 64, you, you will be knowing this. 125, 216, 343, 512, 729, and 1000. Now see children, now see the, the beauty of this number. See, the last digit is same for, for 1, it is 1. For 4, it is 4. See, last digit. For 5, it is 5. 
okay and for 6 it is 6 and for 9 it is 9 this is one thing then for the other thing is last digit flips for 2 and 8 see where there is 2 cube see for 2 cube 2 it is 8 and for 8 if you see the last digit is 2 okay it flips flip flops okay now 3 and 7 for 3 it is 7 and for 7 it is 3 okay this is the thing which you have to remember now see children cube root of this number 74088 all right um, for instance i'm taking this number now how will you find this what you're going to do is you going to just omit this number 088 okay first step now this 74 you're taking into consideration okay all right now the 74 you're going to see where it lies here it lies between this four cube and five cube it it lies here okay now i'm going to take the smallest of this so that is four cube so that four cube this four will come as your first number okay now come on to the three digits which we are omitting eight is a flip flip flop so it flips we just now saw eight flips with this two isn't it children so 2 will be your answer. So 42, the cube root of this number is 42. But it doesn't hold for any numbers. No. Only for certain numbers, this holds true. Okay. Now for these two numbers, this holds true, children. And one thing is, when you see the last digit, it has to be a flip flop number. 8 and 3. So for 8, it is 2. And for 32, 32, where it lies here, 32, here 32 lies between this 27 and 64. So 27 you take, so that is 3, and so your answer is 32. Okay, children. Now here, the next one is cube, cube root of 90,683. Again, 3. 3, it's a flip-flop number. It is 3. For 3, it is 7. And for 19, here you see it is, where does 19 lie? It is, it lies between... 8 and 27 so the smaller number is 2 so you are taking it as 27 okay now here we are going we are going into something much more interesting so any number how to multiply it with 11 12 and 13 3 now okay any number you're going to multiply with 11 first 12 first and then 13 in five seconds let's just try how is that possible okay so here it is 2 3 4 5 into 11 okay the technique is you just write this two first children then add two two numbers and write that's all three plus two five four plus three seven five plus four nine and the last number please don't forget to write that that also has to be there and the answer is two five seven nine five this is the answer okay so we will try for a smaller number um 62 into 11 okay 6 6 plus 2 8 and then 2 682 is the answer so any number into 11 you are just adding the numbers and you have to remember that you have to keep the first digit and the last digit as such and just add 2 plus 3 3 plus 4 4 plus 5 and 5 again that's all okay this is simple now we will see into 12 okay so into 12 so, so here we are taking again the same digit 2 3 4 5 into 12 here what is the root this is the first digit 2 you are writing as such and then 2 into since it is 12 you are multiplying with this 2 and then adding with the next digit okay so now 2 2 2s are 4 4 plus 3 is 7 okay Three twos are six. Six plus four is ten. Four twos are eight. And then eight plus five is thirteen. And then the last digit, five twos are ten. Okay. Sorry, ten. All right. Now, what you are going to do is just add zero. And then three plus one, four. One plus zero, one. 7 plus 1, 8, and then 2. 28,140 is the answer. Is that clear, girls? Okay. So now, so now, children, it is the next one. 2, 3, 4, 5 into 13. Okay. 
So this is the same procedure like 12. But what we're going to do is instead of multiplying it with 2, you're going to multiply it with 3. That's all. OK, so now here it holds as first one. It is, I'll just write it here, 2. And then 2 into 3, 6. 6 plus 3, 9. OK, so when it is 9, you write it as 0, 9. All right. And then 3 threes are 9. 9 plus 4, 13. OK. 4 threes are 12. 12 plus 5 is 17. And then 5 threes are 15. Okay. Now here 5, 8, 4, sorry, 2 plus 1 is 3. Sorry, sorry. 2 plus 1, nine. okay. Is that clear, children? I think we are short of time. So here you can do these sums and you can just check at home. All right. Now, I just finish off with this uh, Russian peasant multiplication. Okay. Now, why is this name Russian peasant multiplication? This is, uh, there are different types of multiplication, children. This Russian peasant multiplication, it is because of, it is an Ethiopian type multiplication. What we do here is, we are just doing two steps. One is doubling and the other one is halving. What is this, ma'am, doubling? That is, this 4 into 2, you're going to just multiply into 2. Okay. And this 10, you're going to divide by 2 throughout any number, children, any number, be it a three digit number, four digit number, anything you can multiply. You're going to multiply the right hand side with two and you're going to divide the left hand side with two. So, but where you have to finish it till one. Okay. So, five twos are 10. And it has to be an integer only, children. So, the decimal part, you can just leave it two divided by two is one. Okay. So, four twos are eight. 8 twos are 16 and 16 twos are 32. Okay, this is the first step. So it is first it is doubling, second one it is halving. You are just dividing. Now, what you will do is second step is children, you're going to circle the odd numbers. So here the odd number that is in the left hand side. Okay, odd number are 5 and 1. And there you're going to take the corresponding odd number. What is the corresponding uh, number for this odd number? It is 8, and here it is 32. You're going to add that 8 plus 32 is 40. So this is your answer. 10 fours. So we know very well. 10 fours are 40. Children. Now here it is a three digit number. Same thing. You have to multiply this with 2. Okay. 470, 940, 1880, 3760, 7520. And here. Okay. You are dividing but by 2. And then. One minute, children. Okay. Since we are running short of time, I need to complete it, children. Okay. So, 112, you are dividing it again by 2. 28. Just division by 2. Just leave the decimal part and you're writing all the integers. So, here it is 731. Uh, uh, the second step which I told you all is you have to circle the odd numbers. So, I have changed the color here. The corresponding numbers we have written here. The third step, you're just adding these three numbers. Addition is always easier on children when we uh, compare it with multiplication. So simple, just addition, you will get the answer. Likewise for this, okay? What is the method? You are multiplying it with two. You are dividing this with two. You are dividing this two until you get one, okay? After this, after your division, till one, you have to do this multiplication, okay? Then you are circling the that is coloring or whatever it is your the odd number okay and the numbers here the numbers straight to this are taken into account you're adding you're getting the answer okay children this is the russian peasant rule of multiplication so now i taught you many types of multiplication children you can follow anything which is easy for you you can work at home make it easier okay a small trick we'll just go faster so for nine into five we know it is 45 nine into five 99 into 5 is also 45 children, but what we have to do is there are two nines here. You're going to reduce it into one nine, just subtracting. So three nine into five, three nines are here. You just subtract one, 
two nine. Again, four nines are here, but this four and five will remain the same throughout. Okay, so this is one small trick just for you to enjoy maths. And then seven times table. So you know, all of you all know nine time table trick. Okay, nine one two three. You write it like this, and the reverse order you go from down. 0, 1, 2, 3, that is 9 table. Now, for 7 table, there's a magic square, children. So, this square, okay, what you're doing is the first number you're writing it as 0, 0, 1, 2, okay. And then the second row, you're starting with 2 again. See, 2, 3, and 4. Again, the third row, you're starting with 4, 5, and 6, and 7 comes out of the square. Immediately, you put 0 here and start with 1, 2, 3. Just write, fill the remaining part 4, 5, and 6, 7, 8, and 9. Your table is ready. Okay. So this is the magic square. And then this is Ramanujan. Uh, you know, the famous Ramanujan square. That is his birthday. We just now celebrated in the month of December. Now, this is the Ramanujan square. Why? What is the... Uh, what is the beauty of this square is if you just add this number either vertically or here horizontally i mean row wise column wise and here also this one okay cross wise and these four numbers all together you will get 139 as your answer that is the beauty of this ramanujan square okay now but how did he get it that is this one so if you just if you have time you can just copy it down you just give any number for a b c d okay Five, four, three, two. Okay. D plus one, three. Okay. B minus two, two. Okay. C plus one, four. All right. Eight, nine, ten, fourteen. Fourteen is the answer. All right. Now here, C minus one, it is two. Okay. Five, if I add these four squares, seven plus seven, fourteen. All right. Now, since we are shorting, running short of time, just complete this, children. Okay. Now, the next one, New Year 2022. So this New Year 2022 is so special for everybody of us because um, you know what what's happening around the world. This COVID is ending and you children are back to schools so happily. So again, what is 2022 showing in mathematics? It is can be written as the sum of three perfect squares, children. This is just for you to look and enjoy. Not only three perfect squares, it is even more beautiful because it can be written as a sum of six perfect squares. It is just there for you to look and enjoy, children. So with this, I'm just winding up my session. Hope you took a little bit of it in your mind and go back home, work out these problems so that you become master of this. Okay? So it will be really helpful for you in your future, children. Thank you so much for your patient listening. If you have any doubt, you can just... Thank go. you, ma'am. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Shalini. Now the session is open for queries. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. 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 Questions in the chat. Thank you, ma'am. 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 Okay, okay. okay ma'am. Ma'am, I have multiplication with 12. All right. Um, multiplication with 12. Um, how to teach them? See, I have... Uh, thank you, miss. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, miss. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, sir. I will give you my number. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Thank uh, you, ma'am. Thank you, thank you, children. I will give you my number. You can just call me. I will teach you. Okay, since we are running short of time. Fine. Okay, my name is Shalini. You can call me. So I will explain the multiplication for you. Okay, because I go back and you have uh, the quiz also here waiting for you. Okay. Ma'am, is that okay, ma'am? Okay, Shalini. All right, ma'am. Because of the students, you can call call the ma'am. She has given you her contact number so that you can clarify your doubts. Okay, thank you, Shalini. Now we'll move on to the event of mathematics. That is the Max Puzzle. Now the link will be shared in the chat box. You can start doing your working out your answers.
students the link will be open for 10 minutes later it will be disabled Students also have completed your quiz. You can go for your lunch. Now we have a break for lunch. And we'll be back by 1.30 sharp. And we'll continue the next session. Ma'am, how many sessions are left? You have one more, two more sessions. So yeah, you can go only by 4 o'clock. It is two sessions you have, then you have the it is the which virtual uh, tour of all the laboratories or five departments laboratories. So the program ends only by four o'clock. So two more sessions you have after that you have the virtual laboratory too, and then finally vote of thanks and distribution of certificates you have. Okay, so go for your lunch. Come back sharp by one thirty. We'll begin our session at 1.40. Okay?
Sir, we should join at one thirty, ma'am. Ah, uh, you have to come back to the meet after your lunch. Come back to the same link at one thirty. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Thank <laughs> you.